Wait, let me get my stuff ready. Hi, welcome back. I figure um, while we're sitting here just going live, I might try and build that stupid hockey goal thing that I was mad about the other day just so I can get it over with. <laughs> so while we wait for people to come in, I might start doing that. <laughs> Hi everyone, happy for rent release day. Let me see if I can find where my... Stupid. Stupid. Okay, I just need to see the picture so I know what to build. Anyway, hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, sorry. <laughs> for Rent is finally out! It's very exciting. Um, it's a big moment for everybody. Uh, I don't know about you, but I have been very excited about this pack for a very long time, and I'm really excited that you all get to play. Um, and then the other big news is that today is my eight year anniversary of starting my YouTube channel, which, to be honest, I kind of forgot about, but then YouTube tweeted about. So I didn't even know, and then I opened Twitter, and it was a tweet from YouTube <laughs> with like a, no offense, poorly photoshopped picture of my face. I'll show you. <laughs> Here I built it. Wow, that's a hockey goal. That was such a cool thing to get in my advent calendar a couple days ago. Wow, I'm so excited. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Best one yet, really. <laughs> it's stupid, it's a stupid thing. Let me show you my tweet, wait. I'm sorry that I bullied YouTube, but like, <laughs> look what they posted. Oh, the EA app is trending on my Twitter. <laughs> sorry, um, look. It's like, you know, my hair's not cut out that well. <laughs> <laughs> Look, EAF, <laughs> probably because it sucks and it was like broken when people are trying to install the pack. Anyway, yay, big day. <laughs> Cute pick. Thanks. I think I posted this on my Instagram earlier this year. I'm pretty sure. Um, so, in the Lil Space Simsy. Anyway, I love you, YouTube. I love you, YouTube. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> However, this is funny. So. What is eight years old? Oh, my YouTube channel. I know, right? Weird to think about. I made it um, eight years ago today. So I don't want to think about that anymore because it makes me feel old. So let's talk about something else. <laughs> let's discuss anything else. I'm eight. I'm eight years old. Um, so anyway, we can open our advent calendars. Just to be clear, Twitch, that was a joke. I'm not eight years old. I'm 24. Please don't ban my Twitch account. <laughs> you never know with these people. <laughs> I'm not eight. <laughs> that happened to me on TikTok. I got banned for being under 13 a couple years ago. I don't know how they thought that, but I had to send in my ID and like prove that I wasn't under 13. I'm dead serious. They like banned me for no reason. And then I didn't find out why for weeks. And then it turned out it was because I was in their opinion under 13. No, I was 21. So, anyway, let's open today's advent calendar. <laughs> let's begin, shall we? What's today, the seventh? Okay, here we go. Today's a big day, because today is the day that the new expansion pack released. So if this advent calendar gives me a flop again, we'll be like five days in a row of flops, and I just can't handle that. It's that girl. We thought this was gonna happen. We saw this when we were trying to figure out what yesterday's was. We got like that dumb ice sculpture thing and I was like, oh, we're gonna get her next. And then we did. It's okay, at least it's a person and not a dumb hockey um, goal. This is better. We've had a couple not so good ones, but this was a spoil, this was spoiled. We sort of knew it was gonna happen based on yesterday, so. Well, she's got a weapon. I guess that's fun. So. <laughs> Here's the haul. <laughs> Stop hating on hockey. No, I don't hate hockey. I'm a massive fan of hockey. My favorite team is the Maple Leafs. I could never hate hockey. Oh, I like her ponytail. She's cute. Look. Never mind, I like her. I take it back. Everything I said about her before, I take it back because she's like kind of an icon. So let me just give her her weaponry. Wait. Wait. There we go. Honestly, it's not so bad. 
I like it. <laughs> I'm actually, honestly, I'm kind of into it. Okay, I feel better now. Okay, okay. So let's open our mini brands advent calendar because the mi women in STEM, except it's women in ice. Um, <laughs> she's in the ice sculpture business. This one makes everything better every day. So I'm feeling kind of excited about this because every day I've been, I've not been disappointed yet with this one. So wait, ready? It's vegetable juice. It's V8 vegetable juice. Um. <laughs> Two and a half servings of vegetables. 100% vegetable juice from concentrate with added ingredients. 11 and a half fluid ounces. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I don't think there's 11 and a half fluid ounces in here. <laughs> I've never seen it in a can. It's like, cause maybe I'm wrong. I don't buy this, but we got this juicy juice the other day. And this is sort of how I would picture this to be in here. So, hmm. There's a picture of a tomato and some other various vegetables. I didn't know it came in cans. Well, you learn something new every day. You went through a V8 phase in college and it was always in a bottle like juice. Huh, you see it in cans all the time? Yeah, I guess I just don't buy it. So what do I know about V8? Nothing apparently. <laughs> hmm. Okay, well, I mean, it's not the most exciting mini brand I've gotten, but I learned something new. Yesterday we got a Slurpee. So like, this is the problem, right? In comparison, juice, Slurpee. Vegetable juice, Slurpee. You know? <laughs> okay, anyway, let me get the game ready uh, and then I'll, I'll catch up on some subs and stuff because I have been talking about vegetable juice for too long. <laughs> No fallopian tubes, no problem. Thanks for the 13 months. I always love your name. <laughs> um, and Ginger and Wolfbane. Oh, we've got Emily and Sphinx and Bagel, uh, Minnie and Wendelina and Rissa and Charlie and Lex and Spicy and White Dragon and Brain, uh, Angela, Katie, Raven, Ginger, uh, Industry, Sammy, Ski, and Kizzy and Katie and Emmy and Juju and Cats and Granny and Krista and Legend and Mick and Jesse. Oh my God, how much did I miss? I'm so sorry. Oh no. Oh no, okay. <laughs> Grace, Outlaw, Natalie, Anxious, Average, Get Low, and Claudia, and Morgie, and Brianna, and Cassie, and Deb, and Oinking Piggy, <laughs> and Steph, and Isabella, Tina, and Avery, and Awkward Turtle, and Koala, and Zesha, and Kit Kat, and Tilly, who says, why have I spent eight years of my life watching you? You are stinky. That was kind of messed up. Um, and CK, and Mrs. Balls, uh, Katsia, and Campbell, and Belle, and Snakes, and you and Jenny, and Hister Ray, and Halloween, and Evie, and Brianna and Anna and Arthi and Mekki and Tutu and Ghost and Jesse and Mick and everybody. I think I'm caught up. Oh my goodness, I did it. Joy, thanks for the gift and subs. Micro and Daniela and Royal and Lincoln and Nicole and Mira, thank you all so much. I do not stink. Okay, so here's the deal chat. What do you want to do today? <laughs> because, so we started building the trailer park yesterday. Should we spend time today like finishing builds that we've started? Should we start a new build? Should we do gameplay? Like I'm kind of open to a lot of different options. Um, I'm not sure what's best. <laughs> um, there's so many things. There's so many things that we could do. I, I'm a little overwhelmed just by the existence of this pack. So I don't really know what you all want to do. Um, but okay, I'm seeing a lot of it's like every other message, it says a different thing. So, <laughs> should we like, should we do a poll? Maybe for like finishing builds, new builds, or gameplay? I don't know. Hold on, I make, what to do? Finish build, new build, 
gameplay. We will finish the build. It's just like, I'm too excited. Oh, they already beat me to it. Okay, <laughs> the mods beat me. That's okay. Thanks mods. Carly, Princess, Molly, Ava, Ruthful, Jay-Z, thank you for the subs. The other benefit uh, or the bonus of today is that I bought five codes for the pack earlier. So we'll do those throughout the stream. Not just yet, I'll give it a few more minutes. People have a chance to come in still. Um, but I did buy five codes. The problem is I bought them from CD keys. So they don't come with the early purchase content. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I do have codes, but they don't have the early purchase content, unfortunately. I know that sucks, but it's like the best way to get them. So that's when you're going to buy all of them. The codes will download because my pack won't. Well, if you already bought it and it won't download, um, no, <laughs> the code won't make a difference because you already bought it. Um, if you're having trouble with the EA app, something that I have learned um, from my various many times of issues with the EA app, I speak from experience as a person who has to download this pack twice because I had to get the early CFE version. Um, what you should try to do, uh, this won't help, but it, what it might help is try and press Control R in the EA app. It repeatedly refreshes. Um, when you press Control R, you can get it to refresh. You can try and restart your PC. Um, you can try and like forcibly close out the EA app and try again. Um, it's not gonna help, but you can try a few things to see if you can make it a little better. I'm sorry, the EA app is horrible and it makes me wanna cry too. Um, you can try and clear your EA app cache as well, um, which you can find, I think if you Google how to do that, there's like an EA help article about it. Um, Cause I forget what the button you have to press is. Um, but yeah, I speak from experience. When we got the early access to the CFE version, like that weird one that had the watermark, um, it was supposed to come out on like a Wednesday, okay? And then we ended up not getting it until the Friday, but on the Wednesday, everybody was like, no, no, it's there. Just refresh, just play, just clear your cache. It'll work. But then I, so for like two days straight from like Wednesday, all day Wednesday, all day Thursday, and then Friday morning, I'm like, control R, control R, control R. And it didn't end up coming until Friday. And that was cause they didn't add it until Friday, but they said they were gonna do it on Wednesday. Anyway, um, I get it. <laughs> the EA app, boo, <laughs> boo. So I'm sorry, I'm real sorry. <laughs> Okay, Sam, Toby, Minnie, uh, Tora, and Vietnam, and Spicy, and Barry, and Perfect, and Ellie, and Dante, and Braun, and Curly, and Molly, and Carly, and Princess, and everybody, thank you all for the subs. Okay, gameplay one, which honestly upsets me, but it's okay. We can make it work. Um, what do you want to do? <laughs> what kind? What kind of gameplay? <laughs> what do you want to do? Gameplay until death? We have done the death. We have done the death. So, um, new Let's Play? Well, we can't, cause I don't have, I didn't make a Sim. So, I can't make Sims on stream, it's too scary. Oh, hey Jake, thanks for the raid. We're, you're here at a good time. We're just trying to decide what to do. <laughs> Evil landlord? Okay. We can be evil. Should I? Okay. I do have some Sims that I made in the CFE version. I don't know if any of them are evil. Hold on. Let's do a switcheroo of the, I have to swap my saves out really fast just so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, Marie, Elizabeth, Katie, uh, Yeet, and Mar, and Olivia, and Pink, and Ava, thank you for the subs. Okay, so, um, Electronic Arts Sims 4 saves. All right, I have to put, right now I'm putting in my save my saves from the CFE version of the game. So that way I can get the Sims that I've already made. Now I have access to the library so I can show you some of the Sims that I made for my play testing. I can't upload the trailer park to the gallery yet because it's not done yet, Shelby. And the people said they didn't want to finish it yet. I don't know if the people can be trusted though, cause that does seem like a poor choice, but I don't know. <laughs> we could finish it and then do gameplay. <laughs> Darcy, uh, Beth, Kate, Mackenzie, girl, mindless, thanks for the subs. We should probably try and finish the build and then play <laughs> before we just like start something new again. 
because how many new things can we start? Um, okay, so some of the sims that I made um, that we could use as playtesters, well, not that you can see them because it doesn't want to load. <laughs> okay, I never uploaded any of my sims to the gallery. Oh, here's the other problem. You know, this Sims, okay, if you guys watched the video that I made, it was the video the day after the embargo lifted. So it was like last weekend. I made like a two hour long gameplay video. Listen to this problem. I can't upload the Sims to the gallery because I don't have a library version of them and they're dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> so like <laughs> the sister and the grandma, dead. I could, I guess I could try to revive them. I could try to revive them and then upload them that way. Um, but <laughs> anyway, that was a problem. <laughs> no, neither of them died of mold. The grandma died of old age and the sister got killed by a meteor strike. Um, for rent. Okay, these are the sims that I played on stream. Um, so there's at least somebody. So we have that now, I guess that's good. Let's get out of here. Can you get an old version of the save? It would have to be, I don't know if I have an old enough version of the save. Um, Cause I've played in it a lot since that happened. Um, it's a, it's a long shot. <laughs> it's a long shot. And the stupid CFE version of the game has no library access. The better solution is to try and revive them with, with mods, um, now that we have access to the mods. But I'm not doing that right now. Okay, I'm going back to my other saves again. Does anyone know what Kayla's creator code is? It's just Lil Susie. It's just my name, Addie. Um, it's easy, it's just my name. So, okay, how many saves are available on PC? Oh, the, I don't actually have millions of saves. That's because I, I rename saves, um, sort of like what I just did, where I swapped between saves that I had in the other version of the game. I dragged those into this version of the game and dragged my other ones out and then went back and forth. When I have to rename saves, it's like the, the slots get named like slot 10, slot 11, slot 12, slot 27B, whatever. Um, and that's in order, so that means you have 12 saves, right? If you've got slot one through 12. Well, I already have slots one through 12 in my main game, so I just renamed the CFE ones to like slot 412. Um, and then when I make a new save, it calls the saves a ridiculous number by default because I have like one that's slotted really high. I don't actually have that many saves. That's ridiculous. No one has that many saves. <laughs> They're just like mislabeled, basically. Um, the game's counting, I'm weird. Okay, um, let's go back into the save we were building in yesterday. Yeah. Will the giveaway codes work on Steam? I think so. <laughs> I haven't tried, so. Um, can we test out the pool party? Maybe, I don't know. Oh, uh, I wanna finish the build we started the other day first. Um, and then maybe we can go from there. Yeah. What, giveaway codes? The ones that I'm gonna do later, but not right now. <laughs> Hold on, chat. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I'll explain once we're actually doing it, but we're not doing it yet. So if we talk about it now, everyone's gonna get confused and then start getting upset. There is no giveaway, so we shouldn't talk about it until it's happening. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is what we started building yesterday. We were making this like little trailer park in Oasis Springs. Um, we were building it to replace where Johnny Zest lived. Um, that was kind of the idea. And we furnished two of them. One is kind of like a family one. One belongs to Johnny. And then we have the two others left to furnish and then also this area. So I don't think it'll take us that long um, to, to finish up, but this is what we've been working on. So I really like it. I honestly think it's really cute. I'm really, really like happy with it, so. <laughs> Um, okay. Okay. Which one do you want to do first? Do you want to do the pink one or the red one? Is that on the gallery? Not yet, but it will be. I just got to finish building it first. It's almost done. It's not quite done though. So I won't, I won't put it up now and then do it again. Everybody says pink first. Okay. <laughs> I am, I am not surprised by the, the suggestions of, of us starting with pink. <laughs> 
That makes perfect sense, actually. <laughs> um, move objects on. Can Johnny have a cat named Lemon? You know my parents have a cat named Lemon? So. Um, what is the max days they can rent? 999. You can put it anywhere from 1 to 999. So. Um, whatever you want, basically. <laughs> um, you can do whatever you want with it, essentially. Okay, let's start. I think in here, maybe I'll do the bathroom first, because that bores me the most. Um, okay. That's so cute. Can Johnny have a dog named Pulp? Well, I don't know if I'm planning on playing with Johnny. Are we- are you guys thinking we'd play with Johnny Zest today? He's a star, but I don't know if he's my star. Do you like your Stanley? Was it worth the price? Um, I mean, I like it. Is anything worth- worth that kind of price? <laughs> I don't think so. I like- I like my Stanley Cup, but I mean, you know, there's more reasonably priced cups. Okay, I don't know what I want to do there. I'm not sure. We have kind of like a pink and blue color scheme going on here as well. Maybe I'll use like... That's cute. I thought you meant your Stanley plush. No, 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 no. This thing. Not my Stanley plushie. Um... I'm feeling kind of overwhelmed today. Is anybody else feeling kind of overwhelmed today? Oh, here's a fun update. So uh, yesterday I kind of had to run from stream, as you guys might remember. Um, and that's because my parents and I and Dan, we went to see Funny Girl. Um, the like tour of the Broadway show came to Orlando. We went to see Funny Girl last night. So that's, I didn't tell you where I was going because I wasn't going to be like, I'm going to be at this location. But <laughs> that's what I did yesterday. Um, we went to see Funny Girl. So I liked it. My mom, listen, my mom has foolish takes about men. My mom was like, she, if you've seen Funny Girl, the, the main male character, he kind of sucks. And everybody else sucks about it too. Like, the whole people, they're like, basically, the story is they're like blaming her for his issues. Anyway, my mom, she's like, I loved him! <laughs> they didn't get back together? What? Mom. Mom. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, anyway, um, so... <laughs> <laughs> Just like <laughs> unbelievable, truly. Um, she's funny, but wow. <laughs> Just wow. My mom also, um, my this is she famously really likes Gail from the Hunger Games, uh, and she really doesn't like Peta, but she likes Gail better, and she's like still to this day mad that <laughs> McCannis isn't with Gail. <laughs> so she is, you know, um, at least she's consistent. <laughs> I, I know, I know. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> you agree with my mom? Oh my god. We're starting some drama in the chat today by talking about this. All right. Um, does she watch your streams? Yeah, but she's at work right now, so she can't hear me talking bad about her. Heh <laughs> heh. I'll say what I want. She can't defend herself. Okay, um, let me see. Maybe I'll get them a couple things like this. And then it would be nice if I had some pink accents in here too, I suppose. Um, oh, how about this? I like this. We need to get it together, because otherwise I'm never going to finish this build, so. <laughs> Everybody focus, okay? We have, we have to get through this. We can do it. We can do it. All right. 
Wow. 15 to 85%. Should we do a Edward and Jacob poll too? This is for science. We're getting information about Hunger Games, but we should get information about about Twilight too. <laughs> this is serious stuff. We need to know the answer to these questions. Naomi, Alyssa, uh, Witch, and Reagan, and Rin, and Neve, um, Ad, and Mazzy, and, and uh, Rat, and Phoebe, and Rin. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody, for the subs. Oh my goodness, I can't speak. Okay, 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 okay. Make this gold, perhaps. I don't really know what my opinion- No, I know what my opinion is. It's just that I haven't read the- I, I read the books for Twilight when I was like literally 10 years old as well. So I don't really trust my opinion, you know? Um, I feel like whatever I thought then is not- <laughs> I need to read them as an adult. Yes, I was so young reading Twilight. Ugh. Okay, so in here we're doing a toddler's room in this place because um, I, I like decorated it for toddlers outside. So we've got to get like a toddler bed and stuff. Um, both suck, I can't pick. Yeah, I should watch Twilight again. Dan really hates Twilight. Dan has like really strong negative opinions about Twilight. He doesn't like to watch it. I know. It's devastating. <laughs> Everyone in chat says they can't blame him. <laughs> Why are you guys siding with him? I thought we were friends. I don't like Twilight that much. The movies are fun though. You know the part where she rides, like he like runs around through the, the forest and he like climbs some trees and she's riding on his back. And he's like, get on spider monkey. That part, come on. You're saying that movie's bad? You know when she almost gets hit by a truck and he like and stops it? Come on. Come on! <laughs> it's really good. You can't go wrong with that. It's hold on tight, spider monkey. Sorry I misquoted. That's really embarrassing. <laughs> please forgive me. <laughs> please, please, you guys don't judge me, okay? Okay, um, what should we do for their little... Oh, how about like... No, no, that's ugly. Never mind. Do that. No. No, no, no. Do this one. That's better. Okay. Okay. How dare you misquote? <laughs> Ooh, interesting new poll. I know what I'm voting. I will always think the Pacific Northwest has a blue tint to it because of those movies. You like go there in real life and you're like, wait, why is nothing blue? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> okay, how about we have this cute little shelf? Isn't that nice? I think so. Okay. Toys for the child. Oh, we're gonna need to have a toddler potty. I think I'll put it in here though. That makes things easier. That one kind of matches. Okay. <laughs> Bad lamb, Jay, Sam, Naomi, thank you for the subs. Um. Oh, how about a couple of, oh no, maybe just the one pink one. Elise, thank you, Elisa, sorry, thank you for the, for the sub gifts. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, this is cute. It's nice, nice colors. Um, maybe, what about the one with the penguins? No, it's not blue enough. No, oh no, the colors are bad. It won't do, it simply won't do. Never mind. sorry everybody. That'll be fine. How about Divergent? No, I can't even, don't even bring that up to me. 
reading the Divergent books, I honest, honest believe that that the the ending of those books I think traumatized me. Listen to this. My dad goes to he. My parents had to spend like a month in the hospital when he, when he had his bone marrow transplant, and it was sort of traumatic in general because of all of that going on. Right. I read the the Divergent books, books all of them the first week he's in the hospital, and then that happens. As if I wasn't going through enough. You did that to me? Really? Anyway, biggest waste of my time I've ever experienced. And then the movies, disaster. Disaster. Terrible. I don't want to talk about it. So. <laughs> it's a mess. It's a mess. <laughs> it's La and Amy and May Mary and Gamer and Barb. Thank you all for the subs. Okay. Yeah, I liked I liked the books uh, as I was reading them, but I don't have fond memories of them now. <laughs> I do not look upon those books fondly as an adult now, with like some, with some time uh, having passed. Um, no way. Okay, I kind of like this little bit. That's cute, right? So. Um. Cute. Cute. Yeah, they never finished making all the movies. They, I think that like, they, the movies kind of flopped a little bit. Um, and so they never finished making them. And what they were going to do is make the last one. They, they did like a Hunger Games vibe where they split the last one into two films, except they never made the second film. So the last movie never got made because they were gonna do like a, a four TV release of it or something. And the actors were like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, and so it never got released, the last one, or made in the first place. Um, there was supposed to be a fourth film that never happened, so. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Let's just forget this one, guys. Like, what if we just forgot that ever happened, you know? Let's just pretend it's not going on. Yeah, splitting the final movies apart, that's just... And the fact they didn't finish it, that's the thats the worst part of it, is they didn't even finish it. Like, if they had finished it, it wouldn't be such a big problem. Oh, you know what? That's kind of cute and not really the exact vibes I was going for, but still kind of cute nonetheless. Should we do that? I don't know. I think it's nice. It's not that pink though. How about one of these? Do any of these colors look nice in here? Oh, that could bring in some more colors for us. I don't know. Guys, as a person who hasn't finished watching um, all of Gilmore Girls and who didn't watch Gilmore Girls in years, so I kind of forget about what goes on, the discussion about, it's like very polarizing, the opinions about Rory Gilmore's boyfriends. It's fascinating for me as an outsider. I did watch a couple seasons of Gilmore Girls, but I didn't finish it, so. I, I like to hear people's thoughts. <laughs> no, I never finished watching. Um, you didn't realize she had boyfriends? Rory Gilmore? Oh, it's like big, that's kind of like the whole thing, Hope. I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> that's like a lot of the main takeaway. <laughs> oh no, that's the, so, so they, it is. Rory's the daughter and her mom and her, it's about mother, motherhood and boyfriends kinda, you know? So, see, look. <laughs> look everyone. <laughs> oh, and like coffee, I guess. That's what it's about. Um, let me get maybe for you, I need to have a, maybe a mirror or something or like a dresser. I don't know. Revenant, Z, thanks for the subs. Um, okay. Um, let me look at the stuff. Guys, we have to get, I have to get it together. I'm never gonna finish this build if I don't. I do like the color scheme so far of this one. This is my favorite unit of them all. 
I think. Um, okay, cute. Maybe we put some books on the desk for the sim. Oh, wait, no, the soccer house was pretty good too. Sorry, Tilly, you're right. You're right about that. That was a good one. Yeah, I like the desk in front of the window. It fits really well right there. I think it's a good location for it. It turned out kind of cute like that. Maybe they could have some makeup on the desk. That makes sense. Um, everybody's arguing a lot. This is amazing. I'm, not, I'm really out of the loop here with this. Sometimes stuff goes on in my own Twitch chat where I'm like, wow, I really, I don't know what's happening right now. I'm just gonna talk about the Sims and <laughs> eventually it'll die down. <laughs> Tara, Cater Todd, thanks for the subs. I'm just building and vibing and the chat's all arguing about Rory Gilmore, you know. <laughs> Nothing to see here, everything's fine, everything's fine. Should I make this wall kind of peachy or is that, what do you guys think about that? Is that okay? I don't know. I don't know. Well, while I wait for your help, let me get my giveaway code open. Um, mods, I put the, in the spreadsheet pinned in the mod announcements channel, I have the, um, the codes that I bought today. So here's the deal chat. And I'm really sorry about this, but I have five giveaway codes. We're gonna space them out throughout the stream of the new for rent pack. Uh, I bought them on CD keys, so they don't come with the early purchase content, um, but they are PC and Mac codes, so they're global. Um, so no matter where you are in the world, they'll work as long as you have the Sims on your computer. Um, and you can type the word cow plant to enter. I'm gonna do just one of them right now so we can space out all of them a little bit. Um, but we, we've got five codes total, so. Um, okay, I think this room is fine i don't know baby dot show no no don't you don't need to do show hidden objects oh they already got the codes typed oh wow i didn't even notice marissa typed them ages ago <laughs> at like 2 30. thanks marissa <laughs> i didn't see okay you can type the word um like i said you can type the word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win um, the Sims 4, uh, for rent, Sims 4 for rent expansion pack. Okay. Um, I'm gonna want, I think I might do like a, I don't really want to have this. This comes in pink, but that's not really the vibes that I'm going for. So maybe I'll try these instead. Okay, and unfortunately, um, we only have five codes. So there's like a thousand entries right now. Please don't feel too sad if you don't win. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know it sucks, um, but there's only so many, there's only so many uh, codes that a person could buy and there's so many people here. So um, anyways, hit the word cow play in the chat for a chance to win. And then I will just keep on working on my kitchen while you do that. Okay. Um, um, I really like these cabinets. I think they're really nice. <laughs> the cabinets that come in the pack. Like, oh, wrong thing. But this is the Home Chef Hustle pack. Isn't that cute? All right. Anything pink for tile? Yeah. I'm gonna use that, I think. Okay. I will draw the winner here in a couple seconds. If you're just tuning in, you can type the word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win the Home Chef Hustle. No, wait, no, the the for rent expansion pack. I don't know what I'm talking about. This is Home Chef Hustle. The code is for rent. Um, geez, it's a PC and Mac code. It works globally as long as you get the Sims on your computer. Um, you can type the word cow plant in the chat for a chance to win. All you gotta do is type it once. It doesn't like count. If you type it 10 times, you just get one entry still. So don't worry about spamming. Um, Every person gets equal shot, everybody gets one entry. And I'm gonna draw the winner here in like 10 seconds, okay? Um, let me quick figure out what I wanna do bar stool wise and then I'll pick the winners. Winner, single, oops. All right, ready? Three, two, 
One, there's 1,500 entries. Oh my god. E Winters 05. E Winters 05. Congratulations, my friend. You are the winner of a shiny new copy of the For Rent expansion pack. <laughs> I do have um, a handful of extra. Um, oops. Oh my goodness. I'm trying to press your whisper thing. I do have some more codes. So we'll we'll space them out throughout the stream. Um, but all you gotta do uh, is is hold off and wait till we get to those. Okay. Um, let me send E Winters a message. In their chat history, it says that it's the first time they've caught a stream from the beginning. That is amazingly lucky timing. <laughs> I'm glad that you can make it to the beginning of stream today. Would you look at that? You won a giveaway because you were here. That's cool. Um, that's lucky. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. So we'll have some more for the rest of the stream, but we'll, we'll get back to building quick if that's okay with you all. Um... Pink fridge and appliances? Oh, I mean, we could. We could do that. It's bold and brave to have a pink fridge and appliances, but we might as well. Oh, they said yuck no. Someone else said it's cute. <laughs> mixed, mixed signals here from the chat on this one. Opinions unclear. <laughs> They're saying not for me. They're saying it's cute. I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Um, let's see. You like the bar stools? I like them too. It's giving cotton candy in a fun way. Yeah, I agree about the cotton candy thing. I think it's kind of cute in a in a fun way as well. Um. It's cute, I wouldn't live there, but it's cute. Well, that's okay, because realistically, who wants to live in most of the things we build in The Sims? You know? Nobody. So, it's fine. It doesn't need to be good in real life, it just needs to be good in The Sims. Does the landlord get paid now? Well, so, here's the thing, you guys. I don't know. I, I have been paid once as a landlord, but it took like two weeks to get my money. Um, and it was just the one time, but I haven't, I've been playing in a lot of like fresh saves where I haven't played a full two weeks yet. So could be that. Don't know. Could, it might be a, it might be a me problem. I don't, I don't think that it's a glitch. I think that I just disagree with how it should work. It's not really immediately clear to me. Like, I just... Anyway. Um, <laughs> say about Cabbage and Jenny, thanks for the subs. Yeah. James Turner got rent on the Wednesday after the Monday when bills were due. Yeah, and I got rent on Saturday after the Monday when bills were due. So at that point, it was it was like six days into the second lease that I finally got paid for the first lease. And two weeks is a long time in a game where pregnancy lasts three days. Yeah, exactly. So I don't know. Um, Boris, my love, I'm not doing giveaways of packs that aren't for rent today on the day that for rent released, okay? Oh, you asked like 12 times. Okay, um, yeah, so we, I only bought codes for this pack today on purpose because um, it is it is the release day of the new pack. So it's like a fun day for people, you know, with a new pack coming out. Okay. <laughs> um... That kind of works. I don't know. How can you win? Well, you can't right now because I don't have one open. <laughs> uh, we're going to space them out. I just did one like five minutes ago. So we're trying to space them out a little bit. I'll tell you how to enter when we're doing one though. So it'll make sense once we have it open. Um, this is the problem with talking about giveaways when I'm not actively doing a giveaway is that everybody panics and they're like, wait, wait, how do I enter? And I'm like, guys, you don't, <laughs> there is no giveaway yet. We space them out throughout the stream, but then everybody starts asking and then someone in chat sees giveaway and they're like, wait, giveaway. And then it 
you know, there's not a giveaway right now. I'll tell you when there is. I'll say it out loud with my voice. Um, and that's how you'll know when it's time, okay? <laughs> we, we do try and space them out, though, throughout the stream, so. Um, okay. Yeah, it's, it does kind of snowball a little bit, but that makes sense. People are just excited. Um, but I don't want anybody to, like, panic and think they missed out, you know? Because that's not- the goal is never for anybody to panic. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. That's bad. Um, all right. Can I use this chair in, like, the minty color, perhaps? Because that's kind of cute. You would have to re-enter each time, Toasted, and I will explain- I will explain all that once we have it open again, okay? Um... Okay, um, I'm thinking that over here, because I want this to be, like, kind of a cute area, um, for, because they have a kid who lives here, so I kind of want to get some of the cute stuff and let maybe put a little toy corner for the toddler. I don't really do this that often, where I give the, like, the kids toys and stuff outside of their, <laughs> their, their bedrooms. I probably should, though, because it's kind of realistic to have, you know, more than just toys in one room. Like that. So the kid can play. Um... Well, draw, I actually think that putting an asset on the stream would make it worse and confuse people more, <laughs> so. Um, I don't know, we just talk about it, it's okay. Just talking about it. If you put the word giveaway on the stream, even if it says giveaway is closed, people are still, you know, that's gonna make them ask about it more often, I think, so. Um, they mean well, they're just excited, but I don't want anyone to panic, <laughs> like I said. Um, so. Will four rent be available in a bundle soon? Ooh. <sighs> Here's the thing, chat. Um, if I were you, I would not get my hopes up about saving money um, on, on this pack from EA directly for a while. <laughs> Um, like, it, like, you, you probably are gonna have to hold off on your expectations with, like, a sale from the, from them, or, like, bundles, it, they'll, they'll hold off to, to make you try and pay more, so, um, it's, it's not gonna be, like, on sale for the holidays or anything, for sure, um, and, unfortunately, you might wanna, like, lower the expectations of the pack going on sale. I guess it's always possible that it could go on sale, but I would be really surprised if it went on sale anytime before, like, geez, maybe even, like, March or something. Like, I, I feel like it'll probably take a long time for this pack to be on sale. Um, space it out, you know? Um... Okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. I like that. I think that's good. Maybe I'll give them, like, some more stuff. Like, some little clutter items. Like a fruit bowl. How about that? Right underneath the window? Oh, that's cute! Very, very, very cute. Okay. Um, and then... For the rest of this, should it be, like, blue? I don't know. What pack are the hanging lights from? Like, the outdoor ones? These ones? They're from the toddler stuff pack, actually. <laughs> Believe it or not, they are from the toddler pack. Um, okay, let's get a trash can. Your PC broke on Sunday? Oh, that's worst case scenario with the timing of that? I'm so sorry. That's horrible. From which pack are the pink appliances? Oh, they're not from a pack. Those are base game. This is just the cheap stove. The base game cheap stove. It has a pink swatch. Um, those are just base game, so. I don't really know if this is good or not. I don't know. 
What are we building? Oh, it's a trailer park that I started working on um, yesterday. We were like rebuilding Johnny Zest's lot. So Johnny Zest uh, is like the landlord of all of these. Um, we're almost done. We have just this one and this one left to finish and then this outdoor space, so. Um, I don't know. People said sink in the island. I guess I could do that so we could have some more kitchen clutter over here. That might be a nice touch too. And maybe I'll give them a fire alarm as well. Um, how many units will Johnny own? Well, I, I think he's gonna own all four of them. That was kind of my idea at least, is that he owns the whole building, so. Um, you can't take the land grab out of the land grab. He's uh, once a land grab, always a land grab, you know? <laughs> So, <laughs> no, the landlord does not have to live on the same lot. Um, your your landlord could, if you wanted to be a landlord, you could be like, I give this example where you could be Nancy Landgrab and like buy up an apartment complex. You don't have to live there. You can just own the apartment complex. Um, you don't have to live in it yourself. Or if you wanted to, you could live in it yourself, but you don't have to. Um, you can do whatever you want with it. So if you wanted to, to play as the landlord and live in you can if you don't want to live in you don't have to um it's it's kind of up to you with that in the game so can you own a vet clinic or a restaurant on the same lot no you can't do multi-purpose lots it's either a vet clinic or a restaurant or an apartment you can't have all of them at once it doesn't work like that um would you do it through the phone? Yeah, you can also buy it from the menu. You know how we have like the owned businesses menu where you can access like the vet clinic and the restaurants and the retail stores. There's a residential rental tab and you can buy one from this, um, just like how the other businesses work in game. And then I could choose to buy anything. So that's just how it works. You don't have to be a landlord. You can just be a tenant and that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I don't like being a landlord, I've decided. I I just, I'm completely uninterested in doing that. It doesn't really excite me in the slightest. Like, I, I don't care to have my Sims be a landlord. Um, so. Okay, that's kind of like a bench. It makes it a little bit tight, but... Can I do it anyway? Maybe they don't get a high chair. Or maybe I should put it over here instead. Okay, that could be the pink unit. Landlord gameplay seems kind of meh for you. Well, I don't think that it's, I should clarify that I don't think the landlord gameplay is bad. The landlord gameplay is just not something that I care about. <laughs> like I, I don't really have interest in in running something like that and like charging people to live. And like, I just, it's not, it's not like a moral thing. It's just not fun to me to play that way. Um, I'd rather play as the tenant instead of having to deal with running it, so. I mean, it's similar to how like with restaurants in The Sims, I don't wanna own the restaurant most times. I just wanna go to the restaurant, you know? It's kind of the same thing. Um, what is, what am I looking for? Oh, coat rack. A coat rack, a coat rack. Um, I wanna get a lot of like, red accents in here. Red accents and some like dark wood colors. Are we just building today? Um, I don't really know. We want to finish this build we started yesterday. Um, I, I realized that for you all, the pack came out today. <laughs> and so like, you're probably really excited about gameplay of it. But for me, I've been playtesting gameplay for like two weeks. <laughs> so for me, the gameplay is less exciting. Um, and I, I'm more interested in, in like building and, and doing like cross pack builds at this point. Um, because I haven't had like a chance to play with all the packs, just just the one. Um, so so for me, like I'm, I'm a little bit more interested in building, but we can do gameplay. That's really, really what you guys want to see. Um, I just, uh, I've been doing a lot of gameplay, so. <laughs> um, maybe I'll scoot that over. Not that it's bad, it's just like, 
I've been so excited about building with all of the packs together because now we actually have all the packs together. I don't like these cabinets, I've decided. Now we actually have them all so we can use them all at once. Um, I might use the- speaking of, I'm gonna use the base game counters. <laughs> that might be okay. Um... Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Get this back. I really do like the new dishwasher that it- the fact that it's skinny is really helpful. Oh, you can't be placed on that one. <laughs> you can't go and end counter pieces. Never mind. The fact that it's skinny is not helpful. There we go. That still works that way. Have I saved? Ooh, no. What time does the pack come out? A few hours ago. It is out now. If you want to play with it, it is out now. So, um, is the pet adoption event just random? Yeah, all the events that happen are just random. Your tenants and your neighbors can start events. I got one today that was a pet adoption event and they had, um, it was in the video that I posted on YouTube today, which probably maybe why you're asking about it. Um, but they had like some stray dogs and cats come to the house and you could meet them. And it was like pet adoption event. I hadn't seen that yet. That's the kind of like cross pack stuff that I hadn't seen because I only had access to the base game in the pack before. Um, so it's been kind of fun to play with the cross pack stuff and see all that because, you know, having pets um, is a fun change. So, yeah, it was kind of cool. Um, that's like the, that exactly, that's like the exact kind of cross pack compatibility I'm looking for with something like this. Like, that's basically exactly what I want to see <laughs> um, for the cross pack stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, I don't know what to do with this. Did I have no pets restrictions on? Um, well, so what I've learned, uh, this, here's, here's me, uh, sharing my knowledge with you all, chat. There is absolutely no money in rent unless you, I think unless you use cheats. Because if you're playing without cheats, it's not easy to get a, an expensive enough place to make decent amounts of rent money and have your house. This is like a late stage of the game situation, which I guess is realistic because people can't afford to have one house, let alone two, you know? Um, so, but you, you kind of need to have a lot of money to be able to rent a house for a significant amount of profit and make a lot of money off of it. So <laughs> it's not really easy to do that for like the average player. Most of the money comes not from rent, but from finding your tenants. So if you want to make good money off of it, what I would recommend that you do is turn on all of the rules. Like all of them. And like, just keep finding those people. <laughs> like let them keep breaking the rules and keep on charging them. That's the way. That is the way to make money off of this game. So, <laughs> um, is it ethical? No, but listen, listen to this. You can choose to rent to someone that has pets and then put the no pets rule and they will consistently break the no pets rule because they already have pets. And then you'll get a thousand simoleons each time if they pay you. But that's evil. It's evil to do something like that. Um, it does also happen to be very effective though. Evil, but effective. Anyway, that's what I've learned. <laughs> that's what my experience has taught me. Do you guys like this color scheme? It's kind of weird. I haven't usually done this, but if they pay me. Yeah, sometimes when you demand they pay the fine, they laugh at you and they say, I'm not paying that. And then you say, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so <laughs> yeah, sometimes they say, I'm not going to pay you <laughs> for that fine. Good for them, actually. Um, unless you're the landlord, in which case not good for them. But I, I personally side with them, um, and, except for the times that I was the landlord. So. Yeah, Effie, when you move into a rental, so so when you are the landlord, you have to furnish everything because the price of rent is based off of um, like the, the stuff that you have inside of your unit, okay? Um, but if you are the tenant, 
it works just like any regular house and you can have whatever furniture you want. So you can delete the existing furniture, you can rent an empty place. Um, when you are the tenant, you can you can do whatever, just like you would with any of the apartments in San Maishuno. Same thing, um, where you can delete the furniture and replace it with yourself. You can delete the interior walls, but you can't change the exterior ones, just like in San Maishuno, um, if you were just the tenant. So. How do you get fined for making loud noises? I think playing loud music and like TV loudly at times of day that are not appropriate, but I'm not really sure. Um, I don't know. If you're the tenant, can you reject the fines? Yeah, you can just not pay them if you're the tenant. <laughs> they keep asking you for money, you just don't give it to them. But yeah, I think it's it's like by playing the TV or radio at nighttime. I don't know what hour the they're considering the nighttime starting for that, and like what hour it'll start being a problem. But I think if you play stuff loud at nighttime is when the the fines for that will come in. Yeah, no pets is the only cross pack tenant rule. I've learned. I was kind of like when I first saw that, I was like, oh man, there's not any other rules. But then I played with it, and I was like, oh yeah. We don't need more rules than that. Like, it, the rules that we have are enough. You don't need to have, like, having six rules on is a lot. So, um, you don't need to have really more rules than what it gives you by default. Yeah, you as a tenant can get evicted too if you break the rules too much and don't pay the fines. I haven't had that happen to me yet. Um, but you can be evicted as a tenant, yes. No, you don't get fined for, well, the question is, can you get fined for woohooing too loud? <laughs> um, and the answer is, I don't think so, but I could be wrong. Cause I, I'm realizing now that all of my Sims have been single, that have been playing with the pack. So I haven't actually tried that, but I don't think that, I don't think that will happen to you. I would. I would be extremely surprised if your sim got a fine for, for woohooing too loud. So, it's an interesting question, but I, I think the answer is no. I'm not sure though, I can't confirm that, but I, don't, I really don't think so. Um, it's, a, it's a valid question though. <laughs> Good one to, to, to ask and find out about, I guess. Nye and Shelves and Billy and Sarah and Jingle, thanks for the subs. I, guys, just so you all know, if you've got like, um, not to dismiss your questions, but if you have any sort of generic questions, like how do the units work? How do you assign so-and-so? Uh, I made a, a very good, I think, comprehensive review of the pack uh, last week on my YouTube channel. And all of those sorts of questions that you have, I, I talked about all of that in the review. Um, so you you'll be able to get all of those easy questions answered there um, If you're if you're looking for that stuff and you don't like understand how the pack works It might be easier to, to go there because you'll get to see it all in one place um, You have a YouTube channel? No, no, um, I've what's YouTube? <laughs> what am I looking for a thermostat? Okay um, All right In here this will be the bathroom an eight-year-old YouTube channel. Jeez, I can't believe that. Uh, I got a notification today that YouTube tweeted about my eight-year YouTube channel anniversary. I don't know why. YouTube has tweeted about my channel a couple times in the past, and every time I'm like, how do you guys know about me like that? Because <laughs> even I didn't remember that was my YouTube anniversary today. Um, and frankly, I find the eight-year thing to be distressing, so... <laughs> But even I didn't know that. So how did how did they remember and I didn't? And also they made this like poorly photoshopped picture of my face and they put it in the tweet. So that was good of them, I guess. Um, thanks YouTube. Let me give them laundry in this unit. How about that? Um. All right. Anyway, I don't like thinking about it because, um, well, to be perfectly honest with you, 
the thought of my YouTube channel existing for eight years is kind of... <laughs> it's a little shocking, isn't it? How weird did the time go? How is that even possible? You know? That's kind of where I'm at with that one. Um, so... Okay, there we go. Um, let me get all of these little things. Oh, I like that bathroom. I think that's kind of cool. Let me give them a rug too. Hmm. All right, logically tuna, Ali, Kate. Uh, they call me, thank you for the subs. Okay. No, 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 that's bad. What if I did like, That color scheme together is bad. Maybe those together. There is a toddler potty in the pink trailer. I did not forget. Um, I put it in the toddler's bedroom though, instead of in the bathroom. Okay. I don't know. I'm trying to do some like funky colors, but I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. If I put the sink on the other side. Oh, I liked the laundry being there because it's kind of out of the way. I like how it fills in the empty space. So I was doing it on purpose. Okay, let's get some better lights too. After this, we're almost done with this building. So that'll be good. Do I know why the EA app is being weird? Um, yeah, the EA app is, is what I like to call bad. Um, so it, it's just like that, unfortunately. So, uh, cow logically do not, yeah, thanks all for the subs. It's, this is the thing with the EA app. Um, we're disappointed by its failures today, but no one is surprised. I, I would say that that uh, the game not downloading for people after they bought it is is just about exactly what I expected to have happen today. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, I'd, I'd argue that that's that's that went exactly how I thought it would. <laughs> so anyway, um. Oh, I like this rug. Ooh, I don't like that shade of the rug though. How about, what color? That one with the blue accents maybe? You miss origin. This is the thing. The fact that the EA app has us sitting here thinking, wow, I miss origin. When for years, we all, at least I, always talked about how bad origin was. <laughs> And now the EA app has me being like, wow, I miss Origin. Because <laughs> Origin, Origin had its problems too. Don't get, don't get me wrong. Um, it was, it was bad. Um, but there's, there's like a new set of problems with the EA app. So. That's, that's also bad. Um. Okay, put the hamper over there. That's good for functional stuff. I don't know, West, when they're switching Mac over to the EA app. I'm not sure. Um, JC, Delta, thanks for the subs. Okay, I think now's a good time, speaking of the pack. Um, let's do a giveaway again. I have another giveaway of the, um, the for rent expansion pack. Unfortunately, I bought this code on CD keys, so it doesn't come with the early purchase content. Um, but you can type the word grim in the chat for a chance to win the for rent expansion pack. It's PC and Mac, but it is global. So it works. If you have the Sims on your computer, it's fine. Um, all you gotta do is hit the word grim, like grim reaper, but grim. <laughs> um, all you gotta do is type the word grim in the chat for a chance to win. Uh, everybody just gets one entry. It's, it's equal entries across the board. So uh, don't worry about spamming it or anything. You won't miss out, I promise. Everybody gets the same, um, the same number of entries. So it's okay. Oh gosh, sorry for yawning. 
Uh oh. I think I might put over here, I might swap this out a little bit. I might try and get a desk, but I don't know if it's gonna work. It could be small. Um, I have, I bought five codes. I have four left. I think I'll do one giveaway this time. Just one code with this one. Um, so all you gotta do is type the word Grim in the chat. And hopefully by the time I finish this room, you'll be able to draw the winner. <laughs> So, I don't have any console codes. This is there's this is the problem with console guys, um, and I know this is really annoying. Uh, this is just like the nature of console codes. The console codes are not only console locked, but they're also region locked. So if I wanted to do a console code, it would be like Xbox North America, <laughs> and everybody else on PlayStation outside of North America. Too bad, so sad. Um, whereas the, the benefit of the PC codes is that they're global and they work on any computer. Um, so it, the PC codes are a little bit, uh, bit of a wider scope, so more people can win them. Um, and, and we don't have people entering that, like, don't even have a console, you know? So, uh, it sucks, but it, that's sort of the, the trouble that we have with the console codes. Um, if you missed it, we're doing a giveaway right now of the Sims 4 for rent expansion pack. All I gotta do is type the word Grim in the chat for a chance to win. Uh, it's a PC and Mac code that will work as long as you got the Sims on your computer, it'll work anywhere in the world, so. I think I like the color scheme in here. It's kind of fun. I like how it's a bit red. I don't usually go for that sort of color scheme, so I like it. All right, there is currently, oh my God, 1400 entries. <laughs> oh jeez, I'm sorry. I only have five codes. Um, okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna draw one winner right now. Okay, in about five seconds, type that word grim. Oh, I wanna enter, I wanna enter, I wanna enter. Imagine I won out of like 1500 entries. Okay, ready? The winner in three, two, one, is Akira. X, 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 one. <laughs> Akira with four X's won. Congratulations, you won. <laughs> uh, let me pull up your uh, your page so I can whisper you the code. I'm gonna send you the code real quick. If you could just reply to my whisper on Twitch so I know you saw it, that would be great. Um, and then it has like, the message I just sent you has instructions on how to download it. So hopefully that helps you. Um, and yay, congratulations. <laughs> I, I do have a handful more. We're gonna space them out though throughout the rest of the stream. So we'll kind of split it up. Um, if that's okay with you all. Well, actually it has to be okay with you all. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> whether you like it or not, I'm gonna split it out. Um, <laughs> so, I deleted the coffee table? Oh, I did? How did I do that? I don't know. Let me put it back. Um, or maybe I didn't have one. Did I maybe not have one in the first place? I don't know. Maybe I, I don't, I don't know. Should <laughs> everyone just said no? Imagine they're like, no, you can't. You have to do them right now. <laughs> you have no choice, Kayla. No, I try and space it out because I feel like it gives everybody sort of an equal shot to win. Because if I did all five right now, then like, what if you get here five minutes from now? You know, that would suck. Oh, I had a different coffee table, didn't I? I think I had this one. Um, okay. Decorations. Cool, okay. Where's the chair from? Oh, it's from the paranormal stuff pack. I don't really use the paranormal pack that often, but it's kind of good for this purpose, I think. It looks kind of cool. I like how the lighter color in it is the same color as this. Um, okay, yay. Um, Madison, we don't have that much left in the build. We have, mostly it's like terrain paint and then this outdoor space that we haven't done yet. So we're almost there. I think in this little open section, I might put some bushes. Also, hi dad. Okay. Will I put it on the gallery? Of course. I put all my builds on the gallery. So we'll put this one up as soon as it's done. Okay. Um, 
We have a lot of greenery in this build, but I, I sort of like the bushes in there because I think that it helps to fill in that area because it's just, it's like a weird in-between of the two units. Plus they have some windows, so like you want to be able to look at something that isn't horrible, I think, from there. Okay. And then we were talking about this area outside. So this is kind of the last thing. If you guys are just tuning in, we built this like pretty cool trailer park in Oasis Springs. It's where Johnny Zest normally lives. Um, I made this into his trailer, his house, and then we built three extras. Um, and we're kind of like pretending that he's the landlord. Um, so it's kind of like a neighborhood, basically. Um, we've got a parking lot, there's like a dumpster, there's some bikes. Everybody kind of has their own little yards. We have this cute outdoor like seating area with a grill and some tables and a movie screen. There's lemons, cause we're calling this the, um, this is like the Zesty Trailer Park or something, I don't know yet. We're calling it Zesty cause he's Johnny Zest. <laughs> so we put lemons, cause you don't like zest. Anyway, um, there's some lemons. <laughs> um, <laughs> and and now the last thing is is just to decorate this like shared outdoor common area. Um, no, Felix, I built this yesterday, and we're finishing the rest of it today. Um, so, um, yeah. How much does the pack cost? Oh, I thought you said park. I was like, oh, this? I'm not sure. Like two hundred thousand smolius. The it's one hundred thirty-seven thousand. The um the four rent pack costs forty dollars, forty U.S. dollars. Um. Okay, should I, I think we should keep the hot tub, right? Cause we liked the hot tub. So we should definitely have it still. Um, should I maybe put like a little bit more landscaping over here? Perhaps? I think I would like that. Oh, we got show hidden objects. You don't have to put the maintenance stuff, no, it's optional. If you want to have the maintenance stuff, like the water heater, you can, but you don't have to. Um, nothing will happen to you if you don't. It's an opt-in sort of thing. Um, so if they annoy you and you don't want to have to deal with fixing it, you don't have to use it. Is that cool right there? I don't know. I think I ruined it by putting the bushes there. I'm not sure. I don't know. Should we put like some more tables? We had some picnic tables over there. I'm not opposed to a couple more picnic tables. And I was also thinking about getting some lounge chairs. Okay. Um, Hex and Crack and Levi and Wish and Ben and Bewitch and Frankie and Matt's a nightmare. And Siri, thank you all for the subs. I think I'm caught up. I'm sorry if I missed anything. Um, do you ever just build for fun? No stream, no video? I mean, so here's the thing, Delaney. The answer to your question is yes. I just built like 10 things for fun last week when I had early access to the pack. Um, but I sort of have this mentality of if I want to build, why not? Like, why not record it, you know? Especially if I'm like recording like speed build vibes cause I don't have to have my face cam on for that and I can choose to make a video out of it if I want. But I, I build a lot more than I end up posting on YouTube if that answers your question. Um, so, I don't know. But I, I sort of have this mentality. I think the same thing about when I, like just playing games in general, I kind of have this like, oh, I, I sort of want to play a game. Well, I might as well stream it. Like, cause it's it's more fun for me to, to stream games. Cause it's cool to have like the live interaction, you know, and like hang out with everybody. Um, and then with like the, the builds for YouTube, it's like, I might as well record it. Cause what if I do want to, like, what if it's good and I want to post it on YouTube? Like, what if I'm proud of it, you know, and I want to post it. So I might as well record that too. Um, so that's kind of my thought process, I guess. <laughs> vault builds. Yeah. <laughs> From the vault. Um, it's, it's like the vault tracks, but <laughs> it's Lil Simsy's houses. Okay, um, should we get an umbrella with these lounge chairs? 
Am I gonna stream more of Poop Town? No, so here's the problem with Poop Town, my city skyline save. It's ruined because I made that city skyline save. I was playing in that world and the map was bugged. And I didn't know the map was bugged when I started playing on it, but there's like an unfixable pollution source that's not my fault, but it's like on the map and it's in a lot of the tiles on the map, not ones that I'm playing on, but like just in general. So the save I spent all this time streaming in my city skyline save, there's an unfixable pollution glitch. They did fix it in the patch, but it does it didn't like apply to my existing save. It, I think that it'll it'll be fine in new saves, but it's not fine in my existing save, Christine. So, I'm kind of sad about that. We have to make a new city if we're going to play City Skylines again because everybody's non-stop complaining and abandoning their house because they're like, eh, "There's so much pollution." And it wasn't even my fault. It was like because the map was bugged in city skylines so anyway devastating truly um should we get like maybe we could have some plants out here like a tree or two i don't know because this is kind of sad <laughs> okay the the big set of gravel, I guess. I need some more stuff for it. Would that be good? Eh. Eh. No. I do like those. I like these ones, too. Oh, we could always use something like this. And that might be kind of cute to help split it up. I don't really like the colors of the tile on that though. Should put a pool. I don't know, we, we tried out the pool a couple times and I think we decided that it was too much. We didn't really like the pool that much when we put it down. So, hopscotch on gravel sounds painful. Oh, we also talked about basketball. That was the other thing that we had discussed. Um, was like maybe putting a basketball court. Oh, geez. Oh, you can't, okay. You can't size down rugs. <laughs> I forgot about that. That's heartbreaking, truly. <laughs> um, it's functional with just the hoop. I kind of liked the idea of adding extra though, just cause it looks cool, but we don't have to. Um, okay. We don't really need to have extra picnic tables either. I just kind of like them. So. Um. Enable the grid and then try again. What with the basketball? Um, no, it's not like grid problem. It's because when you try and put a rug, you can't size down any rug. Uh, when there's like, um levels to it you can't like place it up so if it's gonna float you see how it does that isn't that really weird and creepy you can size them down when they're flat on a plain floor but if they're gonna start trying to float they get creepy so <laughs> anyway mary thanks for the sub um and clayton and em thank you for the subs too you're worried the grill will catch fire i mean yeah but it's probably fine I did have that happen to me today in the save that I was playing for my YouTube series. Um, so that wasn't so good. Other people are gonna, um, burn your place down. <laughs> good luck. One time you accidentally used the set as head sheet on a rug and it was a big mistake. Oh no. Oh, Christine, that is a big mistake. Was it even solvable or were you just doomed? Serious question. That seems like a, okay, good luck. Nope, not solvable, yeah. Don't understand why it's even there. Well, the set is head cheat is there because it's funny. And like, there's a, there's a handful of cheats like um, the first person camera 
cursed, right? That's there because the devs were like messing around with that and doing it as a joke. And they were like, wait, this is so fun. So they finished it and then released it for everybody. <laughs> like they literally were like working on that for fun in their spare time. And then it was so funny that they finished it and then released it for everyone. Um, so, so the set is head cheat is like a similar situation where, um, it's just fun. <laughs> First person is shift tab, uh, when you're in live mode. So. Just being silly, just being silly. Sometimes uh, it also may stem like, I don't know what the set is head thing, but if I were to make an assumption, my guess would be that the set is head thing might've come originally from like, it was a glitch. And they were like, wait, that's kind of hilarious. Let's implement it on purpose. You know? <laughs> um, so I think that that might be part of it too. <laughs> They're just being silly, that's all. That is all. Okay, should I open up part of this? I think that would be better if it was like open access to the rest of the lot a bit more. Oh, we could make, oh, this might be good actually because we could have this walk all the way up to the back. Oh, that's. So you can get around quickly. Okay, I like that. Let's get some trash cans. I'll get a couple extra ones out here too. They have dumpsters in the front, but it won't hurt to have extra trash cans. But what does it do? It sets an object to be your Sim's head. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, Penny, one of the tables is in the way of the basketball hoop, but I don't think I care that much. Maybe that's bad of me, um, but I don't. Look, set his head. So it's, it's exactly what you think it is. Um. <laughs> First person now? Well, you can't see his head. Well, you can a little bit when he's in first person, but <laughs> you've never seen it in practice. Oh, well, welcome to The Sims 4. <laughs> and then it's like the toilet is there. Like, it, can, you know, it's not even Johnny's house. He's in the wrong one. <laughs> you've played this for years and you had no idea that's what that did. Yeah, well, <laughs> now you know. It's kind of, it's kind of weird. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I don't think that other Sims actually can use it like that. It says other Sims can use it like that, but I don't think that they can actually use it like that. I can move the basketball hoop over so it's a little bit more, um, or I guess a little bit less in the way. Maybe. Is that a walking toilet? Yeah, it is, thanks for asking. <laughs> Do you like it? Do you guys like the lounge chairs or is it weird? I can't tell. I'm not sure like, I don't, it's something about it I'm not liking. So I think that's a probably a sign to lessen them. Okay, we do have this little bar, so that's good. And then, what do we put in this area then with the hot tub? I, this area looks so good. It's like the right amount of crowded and now this area is, it's too much. I guess we could just leave it kind of open or we could get the basketball thing. Has to be. I really am trying so hard to get to use that. Bonfire? Oh, I guess we could do a fire pit instead of the basketball court. I don't know. I have tried the pool parties. Yeah, there's two new parties. They're both fun. Pool party and a potluck. So. 
Ping pong's a great idea. We actually already have ping pong in Johnny's front yard. One of the things we don't have is a chess table. And I do like the idea of a fire pit still. If we did the fire pit, I'd be able to get like maybe some of the um the cute chairs from over here. We could probably duplicate some of these. So that might be kind of fun. Maybe no basketball in the desert though. You guys, deserts get cold at night, you know. People are saying that about the hot tub too. They're like in the desert, but yeah. Yeah, I think this will be fun. They'll also set it on fire. So that'll be fun for your Sims. That's always good. Okay, let's do some terrain paint and then I think it might be done. So we're almost there. Um, let's kind of try and layer this a little bit. Let's see. Yours is not downloading. Oh, my friend, everybody's been having that problem today. If it makes you feel any better, it might make you feel worse <laughs> to learn that. Um, but it's not just you who's been having that problem. It's a, it's a common issue today with the pack not downloading. So, um, I don't know if that helps or makes you feel worse, but, <laughs> uh, at least it's not just you. Okay. Um, put some of that around. Telescope? Oh, we could probably get a telescope too. Is there enough? Oh, I have one. Never mind. We have a telescope right there. We've got so much outside because like everybody kind of has their own private yard. So we've, we've given ourselves a lot of stuff outside in the process. So I think I could fill this in with some little plants. I don't know. Does that look bad? Maybe. I think it kind of looks bad in a good way though. It's hard to say. You need flamingos? Oh, we have flamingos. There's two in this person's yard. Thought it was mold. Oh, well, that's good. <laughs> well, that's perfect. Okay, let's um switch it to a rental and then we can label all these. So I think I'll set Johnny Zess to be number one. We'll get all of his units. Um, should I Should I call it like... One zest road. <laughs> Should we label it that? No, one zesty place. Zesty place! Zest nest? Zest acres? <laughs> oh my god. I think zesty place sounds like a road. That, that works. Okay, that's number one. This will be number two zesty place. So we'll label that. Um, they have a front door as well. This will be number three zesty place. Here's your front door for number three. Somebody was asking earlier how the units work. This is how it works. You label them all separately. Zesty place. Zesty place, okay. <laughs> and this one is number four zesty place. Um, number four. I really think this turned out cute. I'm, I'm excited about this place. We have to make sure we have the bedrooms accurately labeled too. All right, this is number four zesty place. I think I'll make this one pink. Oh, does it want to switch? Okay. Oh, it does want to switch. Okay, and then you were red. Number two was, oh no, 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 no. It's number three that was red. Number two can be orange. And I guess Johnny's can be blue, right? Um, Johnny's is one bed, one bath. Number two zesty place is two beds, one bath. Ah, 
It's very laggy in build mode with this pack. It's actually really annoying. The rentals, specifically just the rentals, are very laggy in build mode. They're not laggy in live mode. They're extremely laggy in build mode. Like in a really annoying way. Are the yard shared spaces? Yeah, because they're not closed off as rooms. You can only set rooms as individual places, and these aren't rooms. Because you can't, um, I can't have it be a room and then not have it be raised. Because the rest of it is raised on, on a foundation. So if I put a room right here, it would, like, you can't have a two different heights of rooms back to back. Does that make sense? So if this was a room, it would try and raise up to the height of the foundation. Um, number three is one bed. Oh, I did it backwards. You're the one bed. Sorry. Number two, you are two beds. Okay. Okay, now they're all set up. And then you mark your home unit, which is kind of cool. You can set it as your home unit. And then um, the rest of it's all shared by default. So. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it has the whole room contained. Okay, they're worth, most of them are starter homes. 20,000, 18,000. These are 24,000, but that's okay. That's pretty good, actually. Um. Nice. Okay, should I put it on the gallery and then we can do a... Number two is three beds? No, number two is just two beds. Oh, oh, oh. You mean literal beds. So this is... Um, I count this as bedrooms. It's two bedrooms. It has three beds, but two bedrooms. Um, let me get it on the gallery and then I'll give you a tour. Okay. Zesty trailer park. I think it looks cool from the gallery preview because you can see the cars and stuff. Um, okay, I've built, no, hold on. Uh, Johnny Zest uh, is channeling his inner land grab and has become a, has become a landlord. Welcome to his home. <laughs> okay, there we go, for rent. There we go, yeah? Wait, you can see Johnny's toilet head. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god, I have to make him move. Johnny, get away. You can't be in the way. That's really bad. It's gone now, it's not there anymore. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we can't put it on the gallery with Johnny's ass head sticking out of the back. <laughs> that would have been so bad. <laughs> People are gonna be in the comments like, why does it look like that? Oh, that's just Johnny. I made his head a toilet. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> we'll have to type it all again. Zesty Trailer Park. I'm gonna call it, it's not, It's more than four bedrooms, but I'm gonna call it four because it's four units, okay? Um, Johnny Zest is channeling his inner land grab and has become a landlord. Welcome to his home. Hashtag Lil Simsy. Hashtag for rent. Okay. <laughs> now it's gone. I'm uploading it to the gallery if you want to download it. This one unfortunately does use quite a few packs. Um, but it is it is up if you would like to see it. I posted on the gallery today a ton of limited pack builds with... Ooh, that's rough. That I did with the pack though. Um, limited pack like with just the new pack. Because I posted some of the stuff that I built when I was playtesting. So... Um, I posted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> seven of them. <laughs> um, eight if you count this one. I haven't posted this on YouTube yet, but there's a bunch of um, rentals now. There's a different unit counter. Where? Oh, I know it says how many units it is, but I feel like saying it's got what, like six bedrooms is kind of weird. I don't know, because who cares how many, it's like the bedroom thing doesn't really apply to these because yeah, the lot as a whole has six bedrooms, but I'm not like downloading this because it's got six bedrooms. Like I'm downloading it because it's got all of this. No, I don't have a video for the Willow Creek one. I built that um, on stream. I didn't post it on YouTube. I built that on stream with just the base game. Um, and then I made it set up, um, but that was on stream, so. Yeah, it's just the way the gallery works, kind of doesn't really work for it, doesn't really apply, but 
Um, this is what it looks like if you're just tuning in. I can show you around a bit. Um, so, oh, you know what I'll do? Let's open the giveaway again, and then I'll do the tour while you are entering, because you don't need to be typing in the chat too much. Okay, so I have one more code um, of... Well, I have a couple more codes, but I've got another code for the four rent expansion pack. You can type the word zest in the chat for a chance to win. Um, it's a uh, zest like Johnny zest. <laughs> this is a PC and Mac code. So it works if you've got the Sims on your computer. It is global too. So no matter where you are in the world, it'll work. Um, and all you gotta do is type the word zest in the chat for a chance to enter. Um, chance to win, not enter. Obviously you can enter. Did that delete one of my columns? Oh no, one of my columns got deleted and it's on the gallery now. Dang. Okay. Well, anyway, let me show you around quick. So this is kind of the location of where Johnny Zest's house was originally on this lot. So I kept his there and then we just added some extra ones. Um, in the front yard, we have like a bike rack. This is a debug bike rack from the new pack. And then I put some bikes on it. Uh, these are debug cars. They're fake. I'm so sorry. Don't get excited. They're fake. Um, we have a dumpster. We have this cute little mailbox set up right here. Um, when you first walk in to the right, this is the outside of Johnny's house. Um, so in his yard, I kind of gave them each their own yards. He's got a bit of a gnome collection and then like a ping pong table and this tent, which is nice for some shade because we're in the desert. Um, in his house, you walk in right here. I made his kind of stinky because I feel like he's stinky. The rest of them are all nice. <laughs> uh, but he's got his like front door entryway. His bedroom's right here. It's kind of messy. Um, he has a bathroom. A little kitchen, dining nook, um, and then he has a desk area and like his living room space. He's got some skill building stuff too, like he has the, the microscope, microscope? The microphone so he can practice his comedy. Um, he's got a guitar uh, and that's his whole, his whole place. Um, across the way, oh, let me go into build mode so I can show you them. Across the way, um, we can access, uh, let it load quick. This is the next unit. Um, this one, they have like kind of family vibes. They've got some fairy lights. They have a soccer ball and like a game table. Uh, when you come into their front front door, they've got like a small entryway, a big table and a living room. Their kitchen's kind of long down this hallway. And then they have a bathroom, uh, like a little sporty themed kids room with like a bunch of soccer stuff inside. Um, and then they have a primary bedroom as well. Nothing too fancy, but uh, it takes up a good amount of space. Uses it quite well, I think. Um, and then in the middle here, this unit kind of has like a red roof texture to it. They've got a couple things to let your Sims die, like this uh, Grim Reaper gnome and a telescope. <laughs> so there's a death trap. All of the stuff in the yards is like kind of fair game because everybody can use it. So there's a lot of like activities. So it should be very lively if you play here because there's a lot of stuff for the neighbors to be doing. Um, when you come in here, they have a small entryway again. Similar layout to Johnny's, this is their bedroom. They have a bathroom with laundry this time. Um, here's their kitchen and then their living and dining room. Kind of a fun jewel tone color scheme going on. Um, and then the last unit is back here. This is the pink and blue one. Uh, looks like this on the outside. They have like a toddler, so they've got some kitty stuff out here. And then inside we have the primary bedroom. I like this bed. Their toddler has a cute little bedroom. Um, they have a bathroom, and then this is their kitchen and living room area. It's a little bit more brightly colored, so. Um, okay, if you're just tuning in, by the way, we're doing a giveaway right now of the four rent expansion pack. You can type the word zest in the chat for a chance to win. It's a PC and Mac code. So if you play the Sims on your computer, it'll work. It's global. Um, we've got a couple codes left, so we'll, we'll do this one in a couple minutes here. I'll finish the tour first, though, so you have some time. Um, back this way, this is one of the shared spaces. So we have a lot more stuff. We have like some more tables and a grill. There's a bar, fire pit, hot tub, hopscotch. <laughs> um, lots of stuff to do. We even have over here, like this is the water balloon bucket. And then down this way, we have an outdoor movie screen and some more tables for you to sit at. Uh, and these lemons are here cause it's zesty. Um, Johnny Zest. <laughs> And that's the situation. <laughs> that's the build. I kind of like it though. I think it's cute. I'm, I'm excited about this. I really like how, how it looks like from this angle with all the houses you can see and the, the bikes and stuff. Um, yeah, this outdoor TV breaks in the rain, but this is Oasis Springs, so it, it rains very rarely. Um, and you look at the weather for the next week, it's not gonna rain at all, so. Um, you don't need to worry about it. Okay, I'm gonna draw the winner. Type that word zest real quick if you wanna enter and I'll draw the winner in like two seconds, okay? Ready? Five, four, three, there's 1,500 entries. <laughs> two, 
One, draw entrant. Star XX Sky. Star XX Sky. You are the winner of the four rent pack. Congratulations. Um, let me, oops. I need to pull up your, your messages so I can send you the, the code real quick, Star. Um, I'm gonna copy paste this into your DMs. When you get it, if you could just reply so I know you've seen it, that would be great. Um, but, okay. Um, oh my goodness. <laughs> and the person who won the first code, um, turns out that they, uh, they found out from their mom when they told them that they won the giveaway, that their mom got it for them for Christmas already. <laughs> so we have an extra code because the first winner, um, has so kindly offered to give it back to us. <laughs> Oh no, I hope that doesn't happen to more people. <laughs> Their parents are probably like, oh no, I bought it for you. <laughs> uh, that's okay, that's good. We'll, we'll give that one away in a bit too. Um, so that means we actually have three left. Um, so Star, when you when you get it, uh, just, just let, oh, they replied, good. So they've got it, yay, hopefully, hopefully you have fun. Um, that's so fun. Okay, I really liked this. What do you guys wanna do now? <laughs> Do we build? Do we play? What do we, what do we do? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, do you Sim Parker? That's really exciting. Happy Hanukkah, by the way. Um, that's, that's really exciting. Hopefully, hopefully you do get it. That would be fun. <laughs> um, I'm seeing a lot of builds and a lot of plays. I have a save that I started a couple days ago where Stanley is a landlord. Um, do you want to do that? Yeah, it's on, the, it's on the gallery now. I just uploaded it like two seconds ago. Um, not the, not like the video I posted today. Different. Different. But another video where Stanley is a landlord. <laughs> See, there's two that I have where Stanley's a landlord. One, he's got a weenie dog. One, he doesn't. This is the one in question. Oh, I haven't posted this bill on the gallery yet either. So we could probably upload this too. Um, let me show you. This is kind of like a stinky house. Where's Stanley? Can you play as a tenant with pets? You can have pets as a tenant, yeah. Um, I don't actually have billions of saves, chat. The numbers are they're the numbers are broken because I relabel my save files a lot. I don't have two billion saves. <laughs> Nobody has two billion saves. It's because I label I I mess with my save files and change the numbers on them a lot. Um, so. <laughs> okay, anyway, this is the build that we made the other day, um, for Stanley. It's kind of nice, I actually think. All my places are a little moldy. Please post this build. I can post this one. Let me get it on the gallery, too. Um, so it's like three separate units. The problem with these is I'm not kidding when I say they're all moldy. Um, it's kind of gross, so I'm warning you. Gator Gardens. Beware the alligator in the pool. Hashtag mold. <laughs> Hashtag for rent. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there you go. There is laundry in this one, yeah. This one does have laundry in it. Wow, what marketing. Yeah. Are you guys impressed? I'll show you around a bit. Uh, all the other units are the same as this. They're kind of stinky inside. Um, but we have some nice shared stuff out here. Um, including laundry. So. It's been good. It's lovely. I actually like the color scheme of it a lot. I think it's kind of cute. Kind of stinky, very stinky, you know, really who's counting. Um, and then this is my Sim Stanley, and he has a dog called Weenie. So, what's inside the pool? Oh, an alligator. You only see it sometimes. And it, the pool kind of smells bad. See, it's got an aura of stink. So... <laughs> okay, here's an idea. What if I place down one of my other, you know what we should do? Oh, I have an idea. Let's place in this save the 12 unit build that we did. 
a while back. Um, and I'll have Stanley buy it. And we'll try and rent it out to like 12 households and see what it's like to be a big timey landlord. Oh, I haven't seen this yet either. This is the, um, this is one of the pre-made apartments that they built. If you wanted to download like a pre-made lot, um, they put it in your library, so. What is residential rental onboarding? Oh, residential rental onboarding is, um, it's like a tutorial. It'll teach you how to do it. So. Okay. Go away. I'm gonna cheat to give Stanley like hundreds of thousands of simoleons <laughs> so I can buy this. It's 465,000. Not available for this lot. Do you have to switch it to a residential rental? This is my first time placing one off the gallery because I didn't have access to the gallery before. Oh, that's the residential version. This is the rental one. Okay, you have to change the lot type first. Sorry, I have two versions because I built that before the pack came out, so. Um. All right, game, come on. Just give it a minute. <laughs> oh no. I wasn't really looking at these in order. It also, it relabeled them. I named them. So the reason that they're in this weird order is because I, I named them like, I, well, I thought I named them like this. But I named them like this, so I, instead of going in like, up and, up and down order. Why is it looking like this? Is that even right? How do they, why are they ordered like that? Well, I tried to label them like that, so it was like 1A. And this was, this was supposed to be 1B. And then, but I've kind of ruined it. What number were you? Did it think it was three? Oh my god, this is a disaster. Try again. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm just... Ugh. Why did they do this to me? Why did they mess with my labeling? I don't want to reset it because they're really annoying to redo. Oh my god. This is my build. Yeah, I built this a couple weeks ago. Eugene. I haven't a clue why it went out of order. That's really strange. Um, okay. Well, this one is, it, you think that's number, oh, wrong level. This one is number one. I know it's number one. You are number one A. This one is number two. So you're number one B. Number three should be one C. It's just because there's so many of them. I want them to be like in order, you know? It makes it easier to know where you're... Okay, whatever. Just let them, let them be weird. If they want to be weird, they can be weird. I'm not complaining. 2C. 2D. 3. Ah! Is the build lag still there? Oh yeah, sure is. <laughs> It sure is. Thank you for asking. Um, three. Oh my god. It's only on the rental lot types though. So if you're gonna build them, build them on a regular lot and then switch it at the end so you can minimize your suffering. All right, let's just call that a day. Yeah, the lag's pretty bad. That one is, that one is particularly bad because there's 12 units and it's only in build mode. It's not in live mode. So, yeah, the workaround is to build it as a regular residential, though, and then swap it at the end. Because then you av you avoid, like, any of the problems. So. Um. Oh, maybe that's why, Crystal. You're right. It's not optimized to have this many units. It's supposed to only have... 
Are you joking me? Did it change the names back? It's supposed to have max of six. So when you get into the 10, it's putting number 10 and 11 at the top because that's like a one, right? So, okay, that's a new problem. I don't know if it's because I have so many stupid lots. <laughs> I might have, that one in particular is like, I've, I've, you know, done something I'm not supposed to do by putting so many units there, but. Anyway, they're like, yeah, they're in alphabetical order essentially with the numbers and then it puts the one for the tens at the top. You can name them zero one, zero two, but, but the problem is chat, that only works if it lets you rename them. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm not renaming it again. They've, they've lost their chance with me. So, it resets whenever you reload. Oh, good. I'm not trying to name it zero one, I'm trying to name it three A. It's, it defaults to 1 through 12, or whatever, though. Um, that's just how it defaults. Oh my god, I have even less money than I thought. Okay, um, money... 750, that's 650,000. No, 750,000. So this is what happens if you want to buy an extra rental. So, I don't know why you would do this to yourself, but if you wanted to. You could do this. It's expensive. Yeah, it's 12. It's 12 apartments. So. Okay, come on. Let's go in and see how it works. <laughs> it's snowing. Oh, well, that's cool. Oh, I kept them. Oh, so it did keep the numbers here. It looks cool in the snow. And they're in order in this. So, okay, so this one, the one that I'm on right now, it's gonna make me go home. Um, I need to remember that it's 1A, 3B, 3, okay. So it's the, all right, I just need to know which one is which when I fill them, because some of them have two bedrooms. I guess it'll tell me anyway though, doesn't it? So that's fine. Did they list the prom glitch in any patches? Oh, they haven't fixed that yet, no. <laughs> no, they have not. <laughs> no, uh, Kaylin, it's just because the EA app has been struggling a lot today. Um, you can try, Google how to clear your EA app cache, try that. Um, control R refreshes, try that. Restart your computer, try that. Um, the EA app has been mega bugged today, it's not just you. Ooh, it has them separated by world, so I can like minimize this world and then open this one. Okay, cool. So it's a fancy environment with desirable amenities and it's medium size. Um, how about you? I'll make the rent 87 because that's their max. Okay. Those are my first tenants. Oh, <laughs> I didn't really realize I moved. Okay, I did just move in the mayor of Henford on Bagley. She lives in Willow Creek now. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you two want to come move in? You two could move in. They only have one crib. I only gave them one crib and they have two babies, but this unit has a crib, so I'll get them. Um, one C, maybe we could have, oh, these people have 112 simoleons. That's good. 
this is what I've kind of found to be the best way to do this is you go through and you see what like what they're willing to pay and then you set that to be the max. <laughs> That's kind of um, been my method, so. Wilson, you have 88 simoleons, okay. Thank you. No, all the tenants don't pay the same amount. Um, the, the max rent is determined based on the individual unit. Um, and, oh, that didn't work. The max rent is determined based on the individual unit. Um, and the different Sims have different max budgets. I don't know if you can see this, but this is like an application process. Um, and they need three beds, they need one bed, but they have more money to spend. Um, you have more money, 129, than this person does. So uh, it, it's different depending on the tenant, so. Oh, I might've just rented out a two bedroom place to someone that only has. Oh no, it was, it's 3B that has two bedrooms, right? Three beds, yeah. We can get these people. 108 is your max? Oh, they're so gonna revolt. They're not gonna be happy with me. They will absolutely not be happy with me. This one has extra bedrooms too. I'm giving them all a bunch of rules because I want to make money off of them. Hmm. No one else has kids. <laughs> okay. That's fine, I'll rent to you. Um, I think that means that, I don't know, it doesn't matter. You go next. These people are elders. They can only pay me 69 simoleons, but that's okay. Don't forget to save the game. Yeah, we will. I just wanna get all the vacancies filled first. Fleming, I don't really care who. <gasps> this person's got three cats! That's what I was hoping for. I'll give them all the rules but the pets one. Okay, we're almost there, chat. <laughs> Just three more vacancies to fill. Just three more vacancies to fill. This one's a ghost. I'm pretty sure that's like the ghost from university. I'll rent to a ghost. Why not? Um, two more. McFierce, you have a lot of money, 122. Okay. Almost time. Um, how about you, you have 95. Okay, the property is full. I have all 12 units rented out. <laughs> all right. Our daily rental income is 1,230. Which actually isn't that much because our unit tax is 700, but it's gonna be okay. Let the chaos begin. Wish us luck, to be honest. Of course, we live in this place and they have like a really nice set of apartments. Do a potluck with them all. Oh, we could throw a potluck on their lot. That's a good idea. Yeah, you can sell them. If you wanna get rid of it, um, you can, yeah, it's this button. You can press that button to sell it. Ah! Uh-oh. Did I break something or am I fine? I don't think so. Okay, I had to check. <laughs> yeah, I'll visit them. I wanna make sure Stanley eats breakfast first and then I'll go meet the new tenants. We'll have to go introduce ourselves and stuff. <laughs> Much to do. If you have a potluck, can you sell the extra food with Home Chef Hustle? I think so. I think that's like maybe a pro tip to like have a potluck, steal all the food, and then sell all of it. You know? Hey Boulder. Nice to see you. This is probably, if I'm being honest you guys, the last time I'm gonna play as a landlord. So, <laughs> I'm I'm in my tenant era. Uh, I'm over this landlord business after this. 
It, different. It's different when I like the way that I intend to play is like having my Sims yeah, grandma live with me and stuff, and that I don't really see as the same thing. Stanley here is a proper landlord. <laughs> so we'll see. <laughs> Blood sniper, thanks for the 50 months. Landon, potato, Luna, rumor. Thank you for the subs too. Oh. <laughs> okay. Can you finish cooking this, Stanley? Some of us want to go meet the new tenants. Some of us want to go see the new tenants. Alright, while he eats this, um, this is probably a good time to open up the giveaway again. Yeah, um, let me... Okay. Um, if you would like to enter for a chance to win this giveaway... I have to pick a word first. Um, okay. If you want to enter for, for a chance to win for rent, type the word shrimp in the chat. Shrimp. <laughs> um, and I, I will uh, get you access to a code. So you can just type that word shrimp in the chat. Shrimp like my cat's name. Shrimp. <laughs> um, it's a PC and Mac code, so it works if you have The Sims on your computer. Um, and it is in fact global. So no matter where you are in the world, it'll work as well. Um, and let me go try and load over into Willow Creek so we can go see this. Should I go to, whose house should I go to first? How about the one that had the cats? Where's the cat person? I've met them before though, in a different save. Oh, the ghost! Let's go meet the ghost. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully the ghost does not revolt. <laughs> Okay, okay. Fuck, thanks for the two months. I really appreciate that. You had a typo as your first enter. That's totally fine. You can enter it more than once. Everybody only gets one actual entry. Um, so all you gotta do is type it one time for it to actually count. But if it makes you feel better to type it five times, that's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. There is a celebrity who rents this place, but more importantly, there is a ghost. I'm gonna talk to him. I think that I put him by accident in the, oh my God. We built this like kind of fancy, fancy apartment that I was picturing belonging to like a university professor and I accidentally gave that one to the, to the fancy ghost. <laughs> so actually that worked out really well. <laughs> it's fitting, it's fitting. Um, did I just press slap him silly? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Okay, type the word shrimp one more time. Uh, make sure you entered. This is a giveaway for The Sims 4 for rent, the new pack. Um, and I'll draw the winner in like 10 seconds or so. Let me make sure I entered. Um, okay. Okay. And the winner. Wait, let me make sure I have this pulled up right. Um, the winner is... Three, two, one. Pearl Revival. Pearl Revival. You are the winner of a shiny code of the Sims 4 for rent. Let me uh, make sure I have this pulled up so I can send it to you. And if you could just reply once you get it, um, that would be great so I know you can see it. I do have two more codes after this, by the way, so we can do those throughout the rest of the stream. I bought five total, so um, we do have a couple more. Okay, I sent. Yay! <laughs> Winterfest is tomorrow. I'm so curious about this place. Oh, look at that. The tenant just put a bunch of plants down. I didn't know they could do that. You can't plant them because it's too cold, <laughs> um, but that's cool. I bet they would have planted it if it wasn't so cold outside. It's just frozen, but they like actually use the community garden. I, I kept planting it myself. Um, so I didn't realize that they could fill it in on their own. That's kind of cool. This Sim Pearl, or not Pearl. No, Pearl's who won the giveaway. <laughs> this Sim's name is Ara. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> different. Um, this Sim planted them. My bad, my bad, my bad. Um, okay. Okay. Let me come talk to them. Um, Hello. Tell a gross joke. Pry for secrets. Should I try and like steal some secrets from people while we're over here? It's like when I make the chicken for the pits. Why would you even bring that up? That's embarrassing. You guys, this one time, um, 
So I, I used to do a lot of these like villager hunting streams in Animal Crossing where like you you go to a, a bunch of different islands, right? Sinking feeling, uh oh, hold on, <laughs> I'll, I'll come back to that. I'm trying to be better about this, so don't judge me, but really, so what if I've washed a few dishes in the bathroom sink every now and then? In the end, a sink's a sink. <laughs> it's not like it's any less sanitary than the kitchen sink. Whether or not you believe me, I can, I can assure you that there were very good reasons for me to do this. You just wouldn't understand. <laughs> All the secrets are like making fun of the Sims. It's kind of funny. <sighs> anyway, so this one time, we're doing a village hunting stream, right? So in, in these streams, the village hunting ones, it's just me going to hundreds of Animal Crossing islands in a day. And every island there's a new villager and it's like, oh great, it's Coach, next. Oh great, it's Ketchup, next. I'm looking for Pietro, over and over and over again. Well, I get to one of the islands and it's a chicken called Ava. And instead of me being like, oh great, it's Ava, next. I say, oh Ava, thanks for the bits. Um, and chat has never let me live that down. <laughs> I got there, I'll, I just, I don't know. Brain, gone. There were no bits. There was just chicken in Animal Crossing. So, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Who are you? Hi, I'm gonna spy on you too. I'm really curious to learn more of the secrets. Sometimes autopilot does take over, yeah. Oh, they're shoveling snow. Spy again. This spying stuff is actually kind of creepy. Like, she's right there. <laughs> she's right there. Ugh. Oh, I can eavesdrop on this person's house? Wait. Wait, how come I can click on the whole building and eavesdrop, but I can't click on the door and do it. How does this work? I'm sorry, I'm still kind of new to... What are you doing? You're on the inside of the unit that I have visited. Kettle full of lies. Oh my god. Oh, I read this one. This this secret is about how this one time they drew like a extra tooth on their Sims kettle. So, I don't know. Candidly, Kayla got beat up trying to get secrets. I I had that happen to me. My Sim got beat up because I got caught breaking into their house. Cause you can start a break in. Wait, look, I can show you. I can't really. Maybe I could try and do it on this one. Let me visit this lot quick. Oh, I'll just break in. Come here. Are my... You guys, it thinks that the door is on the wrong side. It thinks that the... F okay. I'm gonna break in. I have to go through a loading screen and then another loading screen, but it's okay. But I, I have had my sim get beat up trying to get secrets too. Guys, stop making fun of my clips. <laughs> it's terrible. You do one embarrassing thing one time and then no one lets you live it down for years. Okay, watch this. Break in. Watch, 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 watch. It was three years ago. Well, I can't watch it, I'm breaking in. I don't like thinking about things being three years ago. <laughs> How do you become the manager of apartments? Oh, you just buy them. Um, you buy them. Like you would buy, sort of like how you buy a restaurant, if you wanna run a restaurant or whatever, you can buy them that way. Okay, you can click on their bookshelves, you can click on their beds and you can snoop in them to try and get stuff. Do you have to fix everything that ghost breaks? You do. I think, otherwise they'll get mad. But I don't think he'll break anything, we'll see. Yeah, Sims can fill a breaking in. And yes, you can break in normal houses too. So you could like break into the pancakes house or whatever if you wanted to. So, can random townies break into your place? Well, okay, here's the thing. It sort of depends how you look at it. Because to an extent, 
they already do that. You know how they just show up at your house and they don't, like they just come in and they're just in your house and they use your computer or whatever. Um, yeah, so there's not burglars or anything. <laughs> um, and other townies won't break into your house the way that you can break into their houses. So. Anyway. I don't know if they'll bring back the robber anytime soon. That They had a feature in The Sims 3 where there was like a, a burglar that could come and it would break into your houses. Um, and oh, they decorated for, for Christmas, that's cute. But the burglar would come break into your house um, and then they would steal stuff from you. And it, was, it would always happen to me when I like started a fresh legacy challenge and I finally bought a stove. I didn't have a stove the whole time. I finally got a stove. In comes the burglar and they steal it. And like, you couldn't buy the security system because I didn't have any money. Like I barely bought a, a shower, so I can't afford to buy a security system. And then, yeah, I actually kind of loved it though. <laughs> can you buy a flat instead of renting it in this? No, no, so you can't like own it. You could only be a tenant in one that somebody else owns. But, so you, you do have to pay rent still. But the thing is when you buy it, um, if I'm playing as a tenant, let me swap to the boulder so I can show you. Um, but if I'm playing as a tenant, you can edit anything inside of your unit. Um, sort of like in the apartments in City Living in San Maishuno, you can edit any of it still. Um, but you just can't change the exterior. So if I wanted to, hello, am I not at my house? Oh my God, double loading screen wasn't at his own house, um, but you have to go back home and then I'll show you. The loading screens are kind of annoying um, <laughs> because when you have to do it twice like that, it's kind of bothersome. I actually don't mind the loading screens in between units too much because it makes the game run very smoothly. The game is basically treating each of these as their own lot, so. Anyway, in here I can, um, I can really customize my units. Like you can like really customize all the stuff that belongs to you in your unit. And also as the tenant, you can edit the shared spaces. So I could like delete the pool as the tenant and stuff. Um, it's just the like, can I change my own walls as a tenant? Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Well, anyway, you have a lot of control as a tenant. Um, you can, you can adjust a lot of things. So, um, if you want to play there. I'm I'm probably going to play as a tenant most often. Yeah, Hannah, you could rent out a house same as an apartment. The way that it works is you set all of the rooms individually. So like you you set each room as part of the unit. So if you wanted to rent out an entire house. Oh my god, my ceiling light bulb just died. I was like, why did it get dark in here? If you wanted to rent out a whole room, you would just um, assign, or a whole house, I mean, you would just assign all the rooms. So like all three bedrooms and the two bathrooms and the kitchen, like you just assign it all as the one unit because you do it room by room. So is there a shrimp nearby? There's no shrimp in here. The kittens were downstairs a bit ago. Um, but yeah, that's kind of how it works. Stanley, can I have you sleep through a little bit so we can, try and do some uh, maintenance events. <laughs> that would be fun for me, thank you. <laughs> Sunny's doing well, she's doing good. Um, she's, I think, uh, like fully recovered since her spay. Her stitches, her wound is like really well healed too. Um, it's it's uh, not so open anymore, which is kind of gross. My kitten got spayed last week. It's been almost two weeks. Um, and her brother, um, is getting uh, spayed, spayed, neutered on, on Monday, so. Um. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, you can't see the gator. Oh, it only shows up sometimes. It's, it'll randomly appear. If we watch closely, you might see a gator come up and then float back down. See, like that, quick, it's quick. Um. But yeah, he's, um, his surgery is this week too. So she's, they're both gonna be bald, but are you actually joking? No, you're kidding. You're kidding. Really? <sighs> okay. 
Vlad's gonna break into my house and suck my blood. It's a little inconvenient and a little rude, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This has never happened to you? Really? This has happened to me twice today. It happened when I was recording for YouTube earlier. I don't usually have it happen to me that often, but it's it's literally happened to me twice today. With Vlad and Stanley. Like, Vlad sucked Stanley's blood earlier in my other save. So... Anyway, talking about breaking into your house. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> he didn't steal my furniture, but he did steal my blood. So that's nice. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> it's okay, you just nap for a second, then he's gonna be fine. That'll be fine. Oh, jeez. I just put my cup down on my keyboard. I almost closed out of it. Yikes. Did he turn me? No, he just sucked my blood. He just ate me. Um, he didn't turn me into a vampire. So I'm not gonna become one. Unfortunately. Okay, where's my, um... We'll have to do our laundry in a bit. Our, our clothes are kind of stinky here. Unload and move laundry to the dryer quick, Stanley. And then we'll see about... What are you doing? Oh, because I had it in the way. Do laundry, add to washing machine. Wash laundry. Dry laundry. Oh, I didn't clean the lint tray. I think we're fine. Okay. Yikes. <laughs> Is the dog barking at the gator? Oh, uh, the dog's barking at the laundry, apparently. Oh, Jess, really? <laughs> That's pretty cool. Thanks for coming by the stream today. I'm glad you can make it. Are there two front doors? Um, like, is it duplicated on top of itself? It might be, because I- oh yeah, because I copied- <laughs> there was actually three front doors. There's probably more than one over here. I guess I can't adjust those, though. Cause I, I duplicated, I built like this one first and then I duplicated it. So when you do that, it like steals the room. Oops. That's my bad. <laughs> That's my bad, sorry everybody. Ew, that is absolutely vile. I'm sorry, I, Stanley, you gotta come get the rest of this. Come on, let's go. This is why I don't really have any desire to do laundry, like, it's, it's kind of a fun feature to confirm that the laundry does work in game. Um, but I also just, you know, I don't really care. <laughs> there, wash this too. Okay. Is the gator scaring you? Oh, I didn't even see it. Sorry, everybody. More? Oh, I just started it. I'm selling that. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that. Laundry is just annoying. It's no fun. No one wants to deal with that. Okay. <laughs> I think it's because he's so smelly. But that's okay. <laughs> he just needs a shower. He's kind of stinking up the room a little bit, so... <laughs> Hey, hey, Marl, thanks for the raid. Welcome in. Oh my god, more stinkies? No, I'm gonna just sell that too. I hope you had a good stream. There's no furniture in my zesty upload? There's no furniture in my zesty upload? Now that doesn't make any sense. Are you sure that it's just not showing it to you if you don't own it? Like you can only see the two, three, and four are empty. What? Did I hide the lots before uploading? They- I didn't hide them, but they might have been hidden because I was playing as Johnny Zest. 
Wait. Wait. They're empty? Are they actually empty? Even when you place it? I guess all the comments are saying that. Oh my god, they're bullying me. <laughs> this is horrible! Even when placed it does that? Really? The furniture was hidden. I have to- maybe I have to re-upload it. Well, that makes me want to cry. <laughs> so, we- we're, this is new. We're, um... We're learning how it works, I guess. I'm gonna test it and place it myself to see. Um... You can upload from Manage Worlds. Yeah, well, you can also just unhide them if you're the owner. Why would it upload like that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh my god, you actually can't- this is- These are so annoying to work with on the gallery. Like... Well, I hope the ones that I uploaded earlier aren't empty. Because they're not empty, but they're... Yeah, okay, let me go back to the other save. Um, and I'll upload it again. <sighs> was it just a glitch? No, what I think happened was when you play with... Um, when you play with a sim... Because... Because Johnny lives in one of the units. When I'm playing as him, all the other units are hidden. And because they were hidden, it uploaded to the gallery without them. So if I go from Manage Worlds, I should be able to upload the whole thing. I think. If not, I might cry. <laughs> no, they're still here. Okay. Let me just copy and paste this. Um, so I don't have to type the description again, because that's annoying. But you can like, basically you can hide it. So I'm assuming that if you hide it like that, it actually uploads empty. But that doesn't seem right. Right? Zesty trailer park. It's four units. Um, Uploading again because three of the lots were hidden by accident. Okay, I'll put it up now. Yeah, so many people upload to the gallery with a sim on the lot because when you upload it with a sim on the lot, it's because you play tested. I guess I should have noticed that the lot value was so cheap. And I didn't realize the lot value was so cheap when I uploaded it. But most people do it like when, because they play test and so Hmm. Well, so Shaylee, the problem is two of those sims are dead. <laughs> so I have to like revive them with MC Command Center so I can upload them to the gallery, but I will. Um, I just couldn't upload them easily because they died. Yeah, that's annoying and, and like different than I expected it to be. That's not really how I thought it was going to work. Um, so I'll just take this down then, I guess. Oh my. Um... Well, I guess good to keep an eye on that. Like, look out for that if you're going to upload anything to the gallery. So it might be- because it might delete itself. <laughs> it's not deleted, it was just hidden, but I didn't realize that it was doing that. Anyway, whatever. Whatever. It's fixed now. Um, let's do another giveaway while I'm loading, because I have to go through so many loading screens. We might as well do it now. Um, I've got another giveaway uh, of the pack, the for rent pack. Um, this time, if you would like to enter, you can type the word SUNNY. S-U-N-N-Y in the chat for a chance to win. That's my other cat's name. Um, there's a theme here. <laughs> we had three codes left and I've done two cats so far, but <laughs> um, type the word Sunny in the chat for a chance to win. Um, and then it's 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 the for rent pack. Uh, it also has, um, it's only on PC and Mac, sorry, it's global. The only problem is this code will not have the early bonus content, the early purchase content, because I bought it on CD keys. So it doesn't come with it, um, but uh, we do have a couple more left after this, so type that word sunny in the chat if you'd like to win. Last couple times there's been like 1500 entries, so bear with me, because <laughs> um, I do not have 1500 codes. Oh my god, he's on the floor. 
and there's more dirty laundry. You guys, I don't know how much more of this a person can take. <laughs> I closed without saving, so it, it lost some of the progress. It's okay. It's okay. Use the bathroom, buddy. It's gonna be all right. You can take a shower. You can go to sleep. You're gonna be okay. <laughs> oh my. Throw that away too. Or just sell the laundry, I guess. Slowly but surely, one simoleon at a time, we're making some money. <laughs> More of it! Oh my god. Wait, let me put the laundry hamper back down. That should fix it. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. Flea and Lexi and, and Joel. Ari, Eliza, thanks for the subs. Okay, take two. Look, 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 it's my buddy! That's our, that's our last neighbor. You know, we've got like the boulder... This person has a dog, and then we have this guy. All three of my neighbors. <laughs> All three of them. Do you want to try and get some food from this? I think it's spoiled, though, so you might have to get rid of it. Oh my god, I regret doing laundry on this lot. You always think it's going to be a good idea, and then it's not a good idea to have laundry. Every time. Every time, without fail. You think it's going to be good, and then it's not. Every single time. <laughs> Renee, thanks for the 18 months. Oh my. Okay, we're doing a quick giveaway. Um, you can type that word sunny in the chat for a chance to win. Um, I have two codes left, um, but we'll do one at a time. So just one this time, and then I'll do one more closer to the end of the stream. So. Yeah. What's his uncomfortable moodlet? Oh, it's because he got uh, his blood sucked by a vampire. Vlad broke into my house and drank my blood. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Yikes. What's he making? More infinite chili? Yeah, we'll see if we have the bug again. When we played this the other day, we had a weird, like, infinite chili glitch. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't have a bath for the... for little weenie. Hold on. Well, let me let the dog out. Hopefully it'll... No, we need to let it go potty first. Is there no way to change that feature of laundry? Well, it's supposed to go into my basket, but it wasn't. It's kind of the problem. Can the pool clean him? I don't think so. None of the neighbors have a bathtub either. I guess I can just buy one and put it out here, huh? <laughs> I don't really care. At this point, honestly, chat, at this point, like... I, I think I've realized through my extensive testing that this is my final straw. <laughs> This is my final straw of being a landlord. There's only so much I can take. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll triple speed this. I'm gonna draw the winner now. We're doing a giveaway for The Sims 4 for rent. Um, it's a PC and Mac code. It's global. All you gotta do is type the word sunny in the chat for a chance to win. I'll give you like 20 more seconds and then I'll draw this winner. Um, and I will send them a message and stuff with the code so they can enter. I'm gonna have Stanley sleep a little bit until we have a maintenance event at the new house. I, what I would like to see is like a maintenance problem in the new apartments. So, okay, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Draw entrance. Inez Martina is the winner of this copy of the pack. Congratulations. Um, let me open up your messages so I can send you the code. And then um, after this, we have one code left, which we'll do closer to the end of stream, so. Okay, where's the, here we go. I'm sending it to you now. If you, when you get the message, cause you just reply to it so I know you've seen it. Um, that would be great. All right, I like doing giveaways of Sims packs. Um, I'm sorry that I don't have enough to go around. There's way more people here than we're able to give giveaways codes to, but um, Stan looks like he has two doors. What, over here? Do you think his bedroom has two doors too? It, no, okay. Oh, it's because I didn't save after I did that. So. Sorry, Kayla doesn't have literally thousands of codes. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine? How nice would it be if I did have literally thousands of codes? That would be a fun touch, but... Weenie's running away? Oh my god, and there's a charity gift drive. I don't care about that. I want something bad to happen. <laughs> something bad already did happen. Don't be sad. You'll be okay. Go back to sleep. I want to triple speed until there's an event. 
Um, Dr. Barl, Sassy, Shannon, Key, Sarah, Caleb, thank you for the subs. Oh my goodness. Anything bad gonna happen? What the? Oh, Santa! I forgot it was a holiday. <laughs> I was like, why isn't it triple speeding? Is Vlad gonna break in again? No. Should I fight him for presents? I'm feeling like a bit of a chaotic mood right now. You can't dislike spirited sims. I did just get beat up by Daddy Winter. And I don't think he gave me presents. <laughs> I don't think he wants to talk to me anymore. I don't usually press that. It's been a while, so I was just kind of curious to try. It was a mistake. Yeah, now he's gone, so. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Today has been such a day. <laughs> I'm sorry I did that. I don't really know what came over me. That was bad. That was a bad idea. Come on, please give me like some sort of bad maintenance event. The charity gift drive has concluded. We look forward to greater contributions from you in the future. Blah, 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 blah. Please, one more time. What's growing on your patio? Oh, it might be a trash plant. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Squid, thanks for the gifted subs. I appreciate that a lot. Thank you so much. Just arrived, the chaos. Yeah, it's been a lot today. I'm trying really hard to hope that something bad will happen to my Sims, but nothing's really gone wrong, so. That part's sad. Um. <laughs> oh, is that spoiled too? Oh, cause I didn't eat it. Why do I keep forgetting? Just, you have food in the fridge. We have food at home, just eat it. <laughs> Red, thanks for the bits. Oh my goodness. You want a new job? Go for it. Go for it. Nothing's gone wrong, but Vlad literally drank his blood. I mean, well, Vlad broke into my house and drank my blood. The dog ran away. I beat up Santa. I mean, a, a handful of things have gone wrong. Damp clothing from wearing damp laundry. Oh my God. You guys, there's only so much that a person can handle. I gotta be honest. This is like... Add to dryer. How do you have wet clothes in here that you can put in the dryer? What are you talking about? Okay, if I were you, I wouldn't play with laundry. It's not the pack, it's not this pack's fault. It isn't like the apartment's fault. It's, it's the laundry's fault. I've had enough. <laughs> I've had enough, I tell you. <laughs> Go away. Cheat it away. <laughs> Make your dream multifamily home. You deserve to treat yourself. We actually are going to do that tomorrow. So the plan tomorrow um, is that we're going to start building the new house for my legacy challenge. I have like a let's play that I've been doing on YouTube. Um, and we're gonna build some new townhouses for them to live in. Um, but we're thinking about building something quite big so that we can have like them live in one, their parents live in the other, their brother live in one of them, and we can have like the whole family all kind of on the one lot. Um, so I don't really know what it's gonna look like exactly yet, but we are gonna start that tomorrow. So it's gonna be like three houses. <laughs> um, but should have done that a while ago. What, like, have them all live in the same lot? Well, we couldn't do it before because, um, we didn't have this pack. Uh, <laughs> and, and we, um, couldn't do it before now because when I had early access, I didn't have all the packs and I want to have all the packs to build it, so. Um, yeah, for the girlies who went to university. I, I like to play in multi-generational homes with my legacy challenge sims, usually. This is, like, one of the first times that I lived without my sims' parents for a while. Um, but I lived in, like, a tiny townhouse. And then her- my legacy heir's parents are dead. But her wife's parents are still alive. Um, so we're gonna have the wife's parents move in with us. So. No chance of earlier stream? Like, tomorrow? No, I can't stream earlier in the day because I have to- like, I have to record and stuff. I have to work. Um, 
I can't stream before I like finish the YouTube videos, you know? Um, so I won't be able to, unfortunately. It would be fun if we could play all day on stream, but um, we did a really long stream on Saturday last weekend where I played a lot all day. Um, but I don't always have time to to do it most days, you know, because I upload daily on YouTube and stream daily, so. It stinks, but there's just not enough time, <laughs> you know? Um, there's just not enough time. Uh, hey, Squid, and hello, and Atomic, and Pammy, thank you for the subs. All right, so let's go to sleep, shall we, again? See if we can get anything bad to happen on this night. You know? That's what I wanted! Seven municipal muses. And Weenie has returned. Well, too bad. I'm going to number seven because there's a water leak. This is just what I wanted. Oh, how do you number seven? Who's? Oh, oh, it's the ghost house. Oh, even better. That's just what I wanted. <laughs> That's just what I wanted. Okay, perfect. Can't stream your work day? Well, I don't, I don't really like to overlap my YouTube and stream content too much. Um, I do like, I post speed builds sometimes of builds that I do on stream, but I, I wouldn't like, for example, cut this stream today down into a video to put on YouTube. I, I tend to keep them quite separate. Um, so, um, feed the dog soon. Doesn't it have auto, like an auto feeder? Does it not? If so, that is bad. Well, it said there was water puddles. Okay, I have to repair or replace all the broken objects. And one thing about being a landlord is they get their hands in a skill up pretty quick. So, I guess there's that. <laughs> How long until these, your lease has two days left. Do you guys wanna try after this to like triple speed through multiple days and see if we get paid our rent money because I would like that you can hire a handyman yeah you can also just pay to replace them um, you don't have to be the one to fix it um, you can hire someone to fix it if you want but I kind of like trying to fix it myself so okay bad news is this thing's broken and that's gonna mean everybody's is broken <laughs> Often do you get paid rent money? Um, oh, he got electrocuted. Okay. <laughs> so here's the deal with the rent money, right? Uh, everyone I have talked to gets paid at different times on different days. So... Everyone's like, well, James got paid the day after his uh, grace period ended. Okay, well, I got paid five days after my grace period ended. I got paid my rent the day before the second lease was up. So I don't know if that's user error because they did revolt for one day, but surely that wouldn't mean that they weren't revolting at the time that rent was due. They revolted after rent should have been due, and it was only for like a little bit. It was just one little tiny couple hour revolt. So they wouldn't withhold rent for five days. Um, you got paid before the lease was up? You got paid before the lease was up? Why doesn't it, why don't I get, why do, when, do, when does the money come? When does, what is the how? You just got paid before? You did too? I think the money comes when it wants to. I don't get it. I don't understand. I, I think that maybe it's... <sighs> I don't know, Christine, because I... I've. So I have the one that took so long, I got paid in seven days. Now Chad's telling me that James got his a week after the lease was up too. So when the bills came, you got paid when the bills came. See, I, I did not get paid when the bills came.
You would. I expected it to be on the bill pay day, or the day after the lease was up, or the day the lease was up. I haven't gotten... Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna- we're just gonna sleep until Stanley, um, gets paid rent. He has, in these leases, two days left. So I'm gonna have to sleep a lot. It's every Wednesday. I got paid on Saturday, though. So I don't think it's Wednesday. Cause I didn't- I've never gotten paid rent on a Wednesday. In a game. Someone else might have. I didn't. Shella, 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 Shella. Have you gotten paid rent? No one can figure it out. <laughs> it doesn't say anything on the calendar, no. Um, Shella, we need we need rent information at this time. <laughs> Have you had a good stream though? Welcome in, everybody. <laughs> We're experimenting. <laughs> Fabulous, thanks for the subs. Okay, cheat that. Go back to bed. Come on. Leave me alone, Wayne. Leave me alone. What info do we need? J Shella, literally just, have you been paid rent? Do you have rent? Do they pay you rent? You sent me a screenshot? Yeah, that one time. Have you gotten paid rent since then? That's what I need to know. I've also gotten paid rent one time. No, you haven't gotten it since then. See, this is what I mean. What day was it? Would you please leave me alone, Wayne? I'm gonna, oh my God, I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> he called me so many times. I got paid rent on a Saturday. You got paid rent on a Wednesday. I don't think that playing as a landlord is fun. Landlord bad. Landlord bad in so many ways. Don't be a landlord. The The game is really not incentivizing you to be a landlord. <laughs> James got paid on a Tuesday. Okay. Shella has to tell me something. Okay. You can be a landlord and fine yourself and get infinite money? I can find myself and get infinite money? Like, I can set... How? How do you set rules for the... Call expensive contractor, call cheap contractor? I wanna see my lease. How do you do it? How do you collect it personally? Okay, unit number one. Oh, I didn't address a water leak in unit number one. That's fine, they'll be fine. Oh, there's a trash overload. Wayne! You bought a secondary rental unit, set rules, and then moved in. Oh, I see. That's kind of smart. Well, Wayne, if you want to eat, then eat. I don't know what to tell you. Oh my god, you smell as well. Are you unsmellied? Okay, I think we should be fine. <laughs> So you think I should move into a second rental unit after I set rules there? Your tenant set the laundry room on fire. Oh, that's good. I got so annoyed about laundry that I had to delete it. So. <laughs> I had laundry in here, in this stinky room right here, but then I got really stressed out and annoyed by it, so I got rid of it. That's sort of the situation. Okay, um, so you're saying let me just kick someone out. So, if I set rules and then I move myself in there, are you implying that I'll be able to... That's a teenager. She lived by herself with a dog and I kicked her out. Have we gotten paid rent yet? No. <laughs> no, we have not. Thank you very much. Oh, I just kept the furniture by accident. Oh my god, I ruined it. You got a fear of eviction even though I'm the landlord. <laughs> well. Can tenants be late on rent? Bestie. I haven't a clue. No one's paid me rent yet. 
I don't think that it works. I don't understand, Chilla. I don't get it. I'm just gonna go back to sleep again, okay? Because I'm trying to get my rent money. So. I should fill this for weenie as well. Auto lights, all lights. Well, we get to see another one of the units. Aussie, you can just use one mailbox. They have some that like visually look like bigger mailboxes and all of the... No pets to Humphrey! <gasps> That's me! How do I pay myself the... How does it work? <laughs> what? You also might not pay yourself. Okay, yeah, we'll see what happens. I, I know, I'm very familiar. They don't like to pay the tenants. Oh, well, that's exciting. My attempt to gain compensation failed. <laughs> Can I click on my own door and deliver fine for no pets? Wait. What if I talk to myself and deliver a fine for no pets? Your attempt to gain compensation fails. Why would I pay myself? I want to pay my fine. I want to pay it. <laughs> Trash Angie Taylor, thanks for the subs. Why won't he pay? Oh my god. My attempt to gain compensation has failed. Why? Pay. <laughs> pay up. Oh, I'll fill the vacancy real quick. Oh! What was that? What was that? Where did it come from? Oh, that was my- I paid it. Sorry. <laughs> I got it. I got the 1k. I, I was hoping it was rent. I, I sort of forgot that he was charging himself money. Clearly, I'm losing it. I got the money. I got the fine money. Wow, that was cool. Fear of eviction? Are you kidding? I'm the landlord! <laughs> it's the same thing that happened to Shella! <laughs> okay, I'm laundering money. I'm afraid of eviction. I still haven't been paid my rent. Um, the boulder, his lease... His lease... Oh, we should be in our grace period in a minute. So any, any moment we should be in the grace period with the boulder. I'm not going to your house, boulder. And hopefully we'll get paid in the next couple days. Can you have a career while being a property owner? Yeah. Um, you have to keep in mind that you're gonna have like a lot to do because you have to keep, I'm not fixing anything right now for my Sims, but you have, oh my God, Wayne, please. You have a lot to do for your Sims to like fix everything. Um, but you can have a regular job too. No, see, we just got a call from Wayne asking if he should date the cat lady. Um, I forget what I clicked. I was trying to ignore him. Because he keeps calling me and it's really annoying. <laughs> Can I start a tenant revolt against myself? What do you think about that? I'm not sure if I can. I don't think so. Can I evict myself? <laughs> no. It's only because I cheated it a little bit. Um, let me fill in... Here. Your max rent is 38. That's... weak. Can you directly ask for the rent? No. I wish. That would be cool, but unfortunately not. I increased Wayne's rent. I don't think he's gonna be happy. Remaining lease six days. I should have been in a grace period. I don't get it. I don't get it. On your mailbox, do you have demand late rent? No. The grace period has begun. Um, even after I played for a long time, it took me like two weeks, still not getting any money. 
There, I, I tried everything, you guys. I clicked on all the sims. I went to their houses to knock on the doors. I tried calling them. I tried the mailbox. I, I tried, like, all of the labeled stuff. I tried everything. Oh, it's the bills. That's terrible. And I can't figure out how, like, I don't know why the rent takes two weeks sometimes. I don't understand it. Like... Oh, God. <laughs> Shauna, thank you for the subs. Okay, let's do another giveaway. I have one more code. Um, this is the last one for the day. Would you please leave me alone? Wayne calls me like every two seconds. You know what he doesn't do? Pay rent. Okay, if you would like to enter this final giveaway of the four rent pack, you can type the word snap in the chat. S-N-A-P, that's my other cat's name. We have now done all of them. <laughs> you can type the word snap in the chat. Um, it's a PC and Mac code for for rent. Um, I bought it on CD key, so it unfortunately does not have the early purchase content in it. Um, but it does, it's the whole pack, so. Um, we had a pet adoption drive. There should be stray pets here, but I didn't talk to them because I slept because I'm trying to get paid rent. This is our last code. I had five, um, and this is the last one for today. So, um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, you like it? <laughs> there has been like 1,500 entries in all of the giveaways so far today, so bear with us because uh, I don't have 1,500 codes. <laughs> Unfortunately. Um, okay. Okay. Well, fingers crossed. I'd like to sleep through a couple more days and see if we can get to like Saturday again. Because that's what I'm expecting to get the rent, because that's what I did last time. Charity gift drive. I'm not going to talk to them. Oh, they shut off my power. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm paying the bills. I'm posting a fine to myself. We'll see if I pay it. Um, at least, even if I don't get my rent, at least I will get the fine, probably. Oh yeah, see? Okay, so lesson learned. If you want to be a landlord, just find people. You're not going to get paid rent. It doesn't work. Or at least it doesn't work how you think it would. And you, you don't get paid as often as you should. Okay. <laughs> we have one code left. We're doing a giveaway of the four rent expansion pack. You can type the word snap in the chat for a chance to win. Um, and I'm going to draw the winner here in like a minute or so. Um, come here, Stanley. Sleep again. Garden Blight? Oh, really? <laughs> the plants in question are my trash plants. The trash plants that have grown on my porches so I didn't clean up the trash, that's what the Garden Blight was. <sighs> it was- it, there was like a disease affecting our- our plants. And the only plants I had are those, <laughs> so. Okay, ready? Let's draw the winner. We have one last code for today. Um, type that word snap one last time. Three, two, one, draw a trend. Kath underscore Rin. Kath underscore Rin. Congratulations, my friend. You are the final winner of the four rent pack. Let me pull up your whispers so I can send you the code. Um, hopefully you enjoy it. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Sorry guys, I said all kinds of bad things. I did get paid rent on Wednesday. So maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fixed. Maybe it's supposed to come on Wednesdays and I was having a bug in my other save where it took me until Saturday. But it sounds like it's maybe supposed to come on Wednesdays. It works! <laughs> okay, that's actually a huge relief. I gotta be honest. Um, I was really kind of stressed about that. I still feel like they should probably pay you a little bit faster than that. Um, but it's okay. We got rent. <laughs> we got rent. Oh, it has to do with, I think it's, um, so basically we have a seven day lease that started on uh, Sunday. And then there was a 24 hour grace period that started on Monday morning and then ended on Tuesday morning. And then I got paid the next day after that on Wednesday. So. 
Yeah, I mean, rent in real life is usually only paid once a month, but the, the problem with The Sims is that the, the timing is all wacky. Like, your Sim is pregnant for three days, so you can assume that that's like nine months, <laughs> you know? Is three days is nine months. Um, but then a season lasts seven days. Um, but in real life, a season would be just a few months. So the, the timing of the, the like length of time and stuff that your Sims are different ages, um, the concept of time is quite weird. I mean, like you think about it also with like the length of time a Sim is a toddler. They're a toddler for like six or seven days and you only pay rent once in like what would probably be years in real life that like a sim is a toddler for. So um, the time is just weird. I, I think that they probably should pay it um, sooner. If I were them, I would edit it to make them pay it sooner. <laughs> so I'm sick and tired of you, Wayne. I actually can't deal with this anymore. I, I almost feel like in that way that maybe paying rent daily, lease break, whoa. Dear property owner, the Cho household is bidding farewell to the nine mus municipal muses unit. We express our gratitude for the less than satisfactory rental residential experience. Compen compensation received for the Cho household breaking lease and moving out. I haven't seen that yet. Oh. They can leave me. Well, that's cool. I've never seen that one. I got paid 750 simoleons for Brittany Cho to break her lease. She's a celebrity. You can shorten the lease. Yeah, you can make the lease length shorter. Um, well, I can't edit it really because I'm... Well, these aren't even opening, but uh, you can adjust the lease length, but not when they're actively happening. It's, it's like with new tenants, you can make the lease length shorter. I probably would. If I were you, I would make the lease length shorter. Um, and if I were the Sims team, I would probably have them pay rent every day instead of paying rent once a week. Um, Cause it's not like you, it's not like in real life you pay rent one time at the end of your lease. Like, I don't know. I, I think that, um, yeah, the lease automatically renews. Yeah. I, I don't think that it makes sense to have it be paid this late. It's actually like not good. Did I keep the furniture from the other apartment so this one's empty? Yeah, I did keep it by accident. I don't know if this one is empty or not. I mean, I can try and break in so we can find out. But I, I think that like, just based on how the Sims works, normally you get paid daily. So I, I think this should probably pay you daily. Um, I don't know. It's kind of, it reminds me of, um, you know, in the Sims 3, it was different in the Sims 3 with this, but there, there was like the, home daycare career and those like home sort of careers you would get a um this place is empty <laughs> because of me you would get a weekly stipend um oh wow i broke in and there's nothing you'd get a weekly stipend but then you would get paid throughout the week when the parents pick their kids up and I feel like the weekly, weekly stipend was stipend was bad because you only got paid once a week and it was like 400 simoleons and that's not enough to live off of. But in this case, it's kind of similar where like you're getting paid rent once a week, but you're making all your money off of fining people. And that's kind of no good, you know? But literally all your money comes from fining people. Like I'm, I'm making all of my money from from being like, hey, hey, you have pets. I'm, I'm fining myself. I found an exploit, thanks to Shella, where, see, the Humphrey household has a tenant rule violation. So I can click on my own front door. I'm the Humphrey household. I'm also the landlord. And I can deliver a fine to myself. And then it pays me sometimes. I've made more money from that than I have ever from rent. So I don't really feel like that makes that much sense. Um, so Merlin, I became a tenant in my own build by moving Stanley into it from Manage Worlds. So, um, I don't know. How was that overlooked? It's not supposed to happen. When you, when you move in like normal, it doesn't work like that. I had to do it on purpose by moving in from Manage Worlds. So, <sighs> They might end up patching this. It's it's like, it seems like an accident, like 
thing. Um, but anyway, all the, the money comes from charging people fines. And that's not really what I want. <laughs> you know, like that's just not really what I want this pack to be. But, um, and I think that also, cause the fines are so expensive. Um, like the, look at all these fine prices. If you have maximal occupancy beat, it's a thousand dollars. No pets, thousand dollars. Ghosts, thousand dollars. Loud noises, 250. Like that's more money than the rent per day of this unit is 38. And then if you have a dog, you get charged a thousand dollars. Like that just seems, I like that we can get money from it, but it makes the, it makes the price so, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and also the whole pack, it's, they've been kind of selling it. Like the point is to be a responsible landlord. And so they're not making it easy for you to be like bad, but then these fines are just so, I don't know, but the Sims economy is all messed up. Like none of the prices ever make sense for anything. So can you find the ghost for being a ghost? I think I can. I'm not sure. I have to check. Let me go find it. This one, they left. Um, the ghost is this guy. No, you cannot find the ghost for being a ghost. Okay, well, their, their lease is gonna be up soon. So let's see if we get paid again in like two days, because we should technically. If we have to wait until Wednesday and you only get paid once a week, no matter when the lease is up, I'm gonna be upset. I don't think you do. I think that we should get paid in like two days based on their lease timing. Um. I turned it off when I started the lease. Oh, for the ghost? Was it off? Oh, it's off. Well, we'll see if you get fined for that. I didn't realize it was off, I thought it was on. You can charge zero simoleons for rent. Yeah, if you wanna charge zero for rent, you totally can. That's, that's probably more along the lines of what I'm gonna end up doing most. Cause I'm probably gonna have like my Sims family living with me. Um, I'm gonna, oh my God, I'm sick and tired of the game breaking. I'm gonna have like grandma live with me and I'm not gonna have to charge at least $1. Oh, does that have to be a dollar? I thought you could make it zero. I'm pretty sure I set it at zero, but maybe I didn't and I'm misremembering. Do you still have to help with their issues if the rent is free? Yeah, but like if it's my grandma, I, I'm okay helping granny when she's got like, you know, a haunting happening or <laughs> if granny's pipes break, like I I will go help granny fix her pipes. Like I'm not mad about that. I wouldn't even, I don't need money to help granny. Oh, that's my own rule violation. Uh, go back to sleep. Oh my God. There's a party happening over there too. You would charge granny, really? Well, if my grandma needed help, I wouldn't make her pay me. <laughs> Imagine like granny throws a party and you evict her. Imagine granny breaks her lease and moves out. <laughs> she said, I'm done. I don't want to live here anymore. I don't like this place. <laughs> granny tenant revolts. Oh, weenie runs away. I'm expecting to get paid on Friday. So we'll see if it works. Not evicting granny, that's terrible. In my save that I was playing the other day, I had um, the granny was the landlord and she was like fining her own grandkids a thousand dollars here, a thousand dollars there. <laughs> I wonder if you use neighborhood stories to disallow moving, will granny still break her lease? That's a good question, I don't know. I'm curious about that too. I'd be curious to know. Yeah, you could make like a retirement home if you wanted to. It's cool because you can move people in from Manage World, so you can really customize who lives where and stuff, um, which is more like how I'm gonna be playing in. Tenant revolt. Oh my God, you need to relax. I'm not helping you. I'm hoping to get paid today. Do you remember what time of day our, our money came in? It wouldn't have said. Yeah, you really don't want your extended family to move away if you're building a multi-family lot for them. But 
Do you know what else might happen, Christine? I wonder if, if you have them marked as played, like if you're swapping between the, um, they just end it on their own. If you're swapping between households, I bet a household that's marked as played probably wouldn't move out on their own. So it might be okay. You might not have to worry about it. So it's probably fine. Like, like Brittany Cho, the celebrity, moved out on her own. But I bet if I had her marked as played, she wouldn't. Also, I've had a lot of, um, I've had a lot of tenants now. I've only had one move out. So it probably isn't that common. I only had one break their lease in all of this time. I didn't even know that it could happen until a few minutes ago. So it was in the morning when I got paid rent. Okay. Well, I haven't been paid yet. Maybe I'll get paid on Wednesday again. I hope it comes before Wednesday. But we'll see. Oh my god! Wade calls me every two minutes! I actually can't take it! <laughs> He's so annoying! <laughs> oh my god! It's like non-stop! Ugh! Your gut says rent always comes on Wednesday? Yeah, but then why did I get paid on Saturday in my other save? And the lease is different. Like, the lease for, for the Willow Creek one started later than the lease for these ones. So I shouldn't get paid on the same day, because the leases are... They're the same length, but they are starting at different times. I don't get it. I really, really, really don't get it. All right, well, we're going to Wednesday, so we'll see. Ranging over rent is so realistic. Yeah, but in this case, I'm the landlord. <laughs> I'm the problem. It's horrible. <sighs> yeah, I guess it doesn't matter in The Sims. If you rebuild your house on a Sunday, you'll get huge bills. I guess that's true. So it doesn't really matter. But I don't- okay, that doesn't answer the question still of why I got paid rent on a Saturday. That still makes no sense to me. You can't get married with wedding stories and you can't pay rent with four rent. <laughs> uh, I, I think it's working as intended, that's the problem. I don't think it's a bug. I think it's just- I think it just doesn't work how I want it to. Like, I, I think I disagree with how it works, and that's the problem. It's not so- oh my god, Wayne. It's not so much that, um... That it's broken. It's just- it's working as intended, but not as we desire, I guess. <sighs> okay, it's Monday. Just got here, what's up? We're trying to get paid rent again. We're sleeping until we get rent money. We did get paid rent on Wednesday. I expected to get paid rent on Saturday because that's when the other lease should have like timed out and paid me based on when the Wednesday one came through. But we're starting to think that you only get paid rent on Wednesdays. But that does not explain why I got paid rent on a Saturday in my other save. Oh. Is that in here? Yeah, that's in my house. Okay, so Stanley may die. But that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Look at the dog. Oh, jeez. Sorry. We're fine. Eh! Oh my god! I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm busy right now. I'm so busy. Are you gonna die, Stanley? You need to get paid rent. We have to make it to Wednesday. Does it have to do with lease length and when it starts? No, that's the thing. We think that it doesn't have to do with lease length and when it starts. We think that no matter what, you get paid on Wednesday. <laughs> Which makes no sense, but is what we're testing. No, the dogs won't die of moles. Um, the dogs can just- oh, Stanley's gonna die of mold though. Oh my god, that's so inconvenient. I need to get paid. I have to- hold on. I have to unmold the place. I'm sorry, everybody. It'd be fun to watch him die, but we do have to unmold the place or else we're not going to get our rent test finished. 
Um, mold be gone, please. Come on. There we go. Back to bed. We can let him die later. We can try again later. <laughs> Chloe, map, uh, fine, thank you for the soaps. Okay, to Wednesday. The boulder! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Kill him, please. Oh, I will kill him. After this, I'm gonna revert to this version of the save and I'll kill him. I'm expecting to be paid on Wednesday morning. So if we're not, then... Clean the toxic mold pile too? Oh, I did! I, I paid money for it to go away. Look, here's the ghosty who's haunting my house. Oh, it's Blossom! Okay, Tuesday morning. Only a little bit longer now, chat. Only a little bit longer now. Can you set the thermostat to be cooler? It's sweltering in here. When I do this, it'll turn the AC on. Oh, now it will. Now it's synced. But look, you can sync the AC with the thermostat, and then it'll turn on when I have the AC on on the thermostat. Isn't that cool? The dog is fed. The dog was just sick, but I cheated it, so we should be okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Blossom, I can't have you in my house. Blossom! Blossom, I just want money. You can't be in here. You actually can't be in here. No, guys, I can't pet the dog. It's it's rather urgent that I, I get to tomorrow so we can get paid rent. We're not trying to play the game. We're trying to get paid rent. It's an experiment. It's important stuff. Unbun, <laughs> Haley, Chloe, thanks for the subs. Oh, God. Oh, we're, Blossom's asleep now, I guess. So that's good. After you get the rent or not, can you pet the dog? Well, Stanley's gonna die after I get the rent. So, hard to say. Okay, triple speed. Shoo, you said the haunting was over. Go away. Can I not make you leave? Oh, is she gone? Okay, we're okay. Sorry, everybody. Triple speed. Here we go. Wednesday morning, which is tomorrow, I should get paid. I better get paid. Oh my god. Um, if he calls me one more time, I have to kill him. Okay. It's almost the- well, it's night time, so it's almost morning. If we get paid today, then the rent's not bugged. Lease break! Oh, bye! Another lease break. I haven't helped them in weeks, so. That's good. Okay. The problem is, I don't think rent is bugged. I think that it just doesn't work how I want it to. Yeah, look at that, 5 a.m. on Wednesdays. Okay, so this doesn't answer the question of why I got paid on Saturday on a different save, but that was the CFE version of the game. So it might've been different. It looks like you get paid on Wednesday, no matter what. Doesn't matter how long the lease is, you get paid on Wednesday. So, in my CFE version, I didn't get paid. <laughs> in this one, you get paid on Wednesday. Um, so, I don't know. At least you get paid. I don't really like that. Like, I wish, I think that it would be better if you got paid daily, because a day is like basically a month in Sims time. When you think about it, they're pregnant for three days. Like, come on. I think it'd be better if you got paid daily rent instead of once a week. Um, doesn't make that much sense to me, but um, I don't know. You get paid on Wednesdays, it sounds like. Now, to celebrate, I'm gonna let Stanley get killed by mold. So. Yeah, when you think about how bills work, it kind of makes sense, but. You want me to kill Wayne too? I'd have to get him in my house first to do that. So I don't know. I don't know. 
then the bills would need to be fixed. Maybe, but I think it's, I guess as a, as a tenant, paying bills once a week is better. As a landlord, I want to get paid every day. Okay, so Stanley may die. And that is a sacrifice I am willing to make. Let me see if I can get Wayne over here. Because so I can try and put Wayne in the house too. Come here, buddy. What? You have work? No, you don't. No, no. Come here, buddy. It's okay. Lock for everyone. All right. Wayne, get to bed. Stanley, get to nap. Stanley might die any second. Three hours. Come on. We'll see how it goes. The house has toxic mold inside of it, so it could be any time. A tenant household has been vacated. Their former unit is now unoccupied. Oh, that makes sense, because I kicked him out and brought him in my house. Yeah, the dog is sick too. I don't know if it's from neglect or from the mold. It might be from the mold, because the dog looks moldy like me. So I, I think the dog is also mold sick, and that's really bad. But the dog won't die. Only Sims can die from it. It's bad enough that the dog has it, though. Your days. Go to bed. Do you guys like my house? Dead yet? Deadly moldenitis from for 13 hours, really? Oh my god. Poor weenie. Oh, never mind, not 13 hours. He's dead already. The fungus is among us, especially for Stanley. May he rest in peace. That is absolutely vile and disgusting. Ew! Thumbnail. Put that on the VOD channel. That's gonna be you, Wayne! I'm sorry, Stanley. I made you do all this testing for me and then I'll let you die, but... It had to be done. It was for science. <laughs> Moldy hot dog. Bye! Okay, now you go to sleep. Let me kick, kick out Blossom, too. Because she's inconveniencing me with her being there. All right, now Wayne could also die any second because he's got deadly moldenitis too. So we'll just hold off. Stanley is used to dying for views. It's for science. He needs it needs to be done. And then Wayne has to die because because he called me too many times and it was annoying. Oh my god, now Wayne is the landlord. <laughs> Did Grim fix the sink? Oh, it's broken again. Maybe he was trying, but he didn't finish. Uh-oh. Here we go, chat. This is the end for Wayne, it seems. <sighs> the fungus is among us. Okay, so here's a couple pro tips for you. Um, to avoid this from happening, it's very easy. It's a lot challenge, so it's opt-in. You do not have to have mold. Not everybody has mold. You have to turn on the lot challenge to get mold. There's two kinds of mold. The first one is just allergenic mold. No problem. It just makes your Sims dazed. It's fine. The bad one is the toxic mold. It starts out like this. Uh, oh, that's allergenic, sorry. It starts out like, nope, allergenic. Okay, it starts out black and then it gets green fungus. Those are the allergenic ones. It's easy to demold the house because you can click on it and you can choose to clean it by hand. You can choose to clean it with fire. Bad idea, it burns your house down. Or you can choose to pay to demold everything. It's 750 simoleons, it all goes away. Super easy. Um, it's also pretty easy, even with the lot challenge, to not have mold start on your house. You get mold when the house is dirty. So things like, I assume all of the dog puke this puddle specifically like standing water in your house from broken appliances that makes me like more likely to get mold um if say like the shower was dirty um you more likely to get mold then if the stuff like the the plumbing is dirty so dirty house makes mold more likely um and then once you have mold it grows and grows and grows um which kind of makes sense um so once you have one piece of toxic mold 
you get more toxic mold, um, and you need to be quick to, um, to clean it, otherwise you might die. Um, it is easy to get rid of though, because you can just pay the money to get rid of it, 750, or you can clean it, um, which isn't too bad. You download my colored apartment buildings and there's an urn in the bedroom! Oh, that's because I played in that safe for a while, sorry! That's just Granny, she died of old age. It wasn't anything bad. It was Granny's house, she died of old age. If it makes you feel any better. She was asleep, she woke up, she died, and I left her there. Um, adoption services will take care of Weenie and find a good home for him. See? Weenie's better off. Weenie is the landlord now! <laughs> Weenie is the landlord! Um, but anyway, this is, um, that's how it works. <laughs> Uh, let me go without saving. People want me to put Weenie on the gallery. Weenie's not like that fancy of a dog, but I could put Weenie and Stanley on the gallery. If you want. And then I'll probably get off stream here in a minute. Um, Power, Corinne, Roxanne, Hunbun, thanks for the subs. Okay, I am actually, to be honest, you guys, I'm feeling a lot better. I was worried about the rent thing, knowing that it gets paid on Wednesdays now, even if the lease is a different length. Doesn't make sense to me, but I agree that it, at least it works. So it's not broken, it's just... It was like user error on my part because I was expecting it to work differently <laughs> and I still think that it should work differently, but it works that way. So you get paid on Wednesdays. One day lease, you'll still get paid on Wednesdays no matter what. Um, and that's how it works. So, all right, let me get Stanley and Weenie on the gallery for you guys. Um, and then tomorrow we're gonna work on building the like multi-family houses for my sim Don't and for their grandparents Lula. to live in. Um, I want you to be able to see Weenie's hot dog suit. I liked that one where it was licking me. Yeah. Mm. Stanley Humphrey. My weenie sim and his weenie dog. Hashtag Lil Simsy. Okay, there you go. <laughs> there we go. All right. Experiment done. We've learned a lot today. <laughs> this worked out pretty well. I'm glad we got to do this. Uh, the pack is out now. Um, obviously, if you want to buy it, you totally can. Um, if you haven't bought it yet and you're thinking about it, they did start another creator code program, um, like a tr creator code test program again. It's going to last until March. So if you buy any Sims pack from now until March, in the promo code section in the EA app, you can type a creator's username. You don't have to use mine. Mine is just Lil Simsy, but you could use one of my friend's codes. If anything, by all means, please do that. Um, but uh, when you do that, they'll get paid 5% of the purchase. So if you buy an expansion pack on there, they'll get $2. Um, and it's it's not a discount code for you, but it is a way to like financially support a creator you like without spending extra money. So um, I, I don't I don't know if there's like a master list of everybody who has creator codes, um, but a lot of folks who've been around on YouTube for a while have them. They have like a hundred now creator something in the program and they're working on expanding it. They keep trying to test it and see how it runs. Um, but you can type it uh, in the promo code box at checkout on the EA app. Um, anytime you buy a Sims pack. So even like kits and stuff, if you buy any Sims pack, the creator codes will work. Um, it's okay if you forgot to use it, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Um, it's just, if, you're, if you haven't bought it yet and you're planning on it, um, like try and use somebody's code at least. Doesn't have to be mine. Just try it, like if you have a different YouTuber you like, type in their name and see if it works. Most of the codes are just their usernames. Um, so you could type like Vixella, Plumbella, Stefo Sims, <laughs> the English Simmer, you know, like some of my friends or whatever, if you want to try those. Um, I don't know who all has one, but if you're, if the creator you like has one, they probably posted about it somewhere. Um, so you can check there. Um, which they have a prompt. Yeah, I know. It, it, the EA app sucks, and also they haven't really rolled it out completely yet. It's only Sims creators right now. It's not other EA games creators yet. Um, and they're still, like, testing it. It only works until March. Um, so, um, James, Deligracy, I know Claire, um, and, and like, uh, who else? Like, Taz has... I've, lots of people have them. I don't know if there's a list, but check your favorite creator and see if you can try and support them. But it's still early days on it. They're still just testing it. They keep doing, like, a couple small like month long here month long there tests um to see how it works um anyway no i don't get two dollars if you buy a kit i get five percent of the pack so on an expansion pack that's kind of expensive <laughs> um 
I get $2, um, but uh, if, on a kit, it would be 5% of the $5, so. But again, you don't have to use mine. You don't have to use mine. You can, you can uh, check around and see if any other creators you like have one. Um, I just think it's good to support the program because uh, if it goes well, hopefully they'll expand it to more creators again. Um, and that's ideal scenario. And again, also it's a good way for you to support creators you like without having to pay extra money. And then EA gets less money. So, so win-win, <laughs> you know? Um, but anyway, that's that's how it works. This this code will be available until March, like the end of March, I think. I forget exactly when, but I'll let you know. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, that exactly ultra zip. So if you wanted to use it for like a smaller creator, um, I would like uh, by all means encourage you to do so. You don't have to use mine. Like it, support other simmers, you know. Like that's what I want you to do. Um, if you want to use mine, you can, but you don't have to. But by all means, please support my friends. You know. Um, that's, that's a good thing, so. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a cool thing they're doing. Just thought it would be good to note again. Um, you can use it on any pack, not just for run, any Sims pack. I think the only thing it doesn't work on, on the EA app, uh, well, all the Sims packs, not any other games, but just the Sims packs, and not custom bundles. I think it has to be like the existing bundles and not the custom build your own bundles, but any of the Sims packs. So any, and it, but it only works on the EA app. It doesn't work on Steam or like on console because it has to be like EA's store, which kind of makes sense because they're the ones paying it out. So I don't think Momo has a code. They haven't expanded it that far yet. Not too, too many people have them. Um, more than last time have them, but it's still not like everybody. Um, so Origin is the EA app. So it'll work on Origin, at least it should. Um, cause Origin and the EA app are like the same, but not, but it's still EA's store. So, um, but yeah, it'll, um, I don't know who all has them exactly. I also don't know like who's going to be added in next time. They've talked about trying to expand it to like more simmers and then to more games and then to more creators from other games and stuff, but they're just doing tests right now. So, um, and the better it goes, the better it works. <laughs> um, it just only works on the EA app. Um, okay, well, I think on that note, I'm probably gonna go and find someone to raid. Um, I will see you all tomorrow. We'll do some more building tomorrow, I guess. That is the plan. Um, okay, Shella was asked about it, but doesn't have yet. Oh, so maybe they've got Shella being added into the second wave. That makes sense. Um, that makes sense. Um, okay, I would like to maybe raid someone who's also playing with the pack. <laughs> um, I think that would be kind of fun. I know, oh, oh, how about this? Uh, my friend Sav is playing for rent right now. Um, I'd kind of like to go over there and say hi. Every time I go to Sav's stream, I just sit there like admiring the background so much. You'll see what I'm talking about, but the lights look so pretty. <laughs> um, so go over and say hi for me. Uh, we always have a good time over there and we can see some more pack gameplay and stuff. Um, some more of The Sims 4 for rent. <laughs> ridiculous. Anyway, have a great rest of your night. I will catch you all tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Um, I really like this pack. It's been fun. And we also learned that it wasn't a bug, so that was fun too. <laughs> and we killed two Sims! Successful stream. Um, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you all later. Okay? Okay. Goodbye! <laughs> Where's the button? Stop streaming!